a hello? <laughs> what the hell? I can't hear myself. Why can't I hear myself? Well, I can, but not as much as usual. Am I quiet? No way. Did I mess with my mic settings? Hello? <laughs> hello? About the same. Hello? Oh, you know why I can't hear myself. I think it was the effect in the game that was messing with my mind. <laughs> I think the uh, effect that was on the song was messing with my brain for a second there. Because I was like... Hello? What's going on? Hello? Ah! Oh. No, I can hear myself. <laughs> Hello! Thank you for the tech gift to Memberseas! Thank you! Thank you for the super chat! Thank you, thank you! Welcome back to Memberseas! Thank you! One full year is a Chad Weewa... Let's go! Welcome back to Memberseas! Thank you for one year! Thank you! <laughs> Why is my stream stuttering? Uh-oh. I don't have any drop frames on my end. It could be me though. I wouldn't be surprised. Ready for more yakisoba fun? Let's go! Thank you for the super chat, thank you. Maybe refresh. <coughs> Maybe refresh time. <coughs> Super chat. No! <laughs> hey. Are we starting? We just started. Please let me breathe. <laughs> I just got here. Please let me let me be normal for at least like two seconds about something in my life. <laughs> Yo, I got boba. I'm still drinking it. It's been like... It's been a few hours since I got it and I'm still drinking it. Man, I got... A lot of people... I asked for like, which one I should get. And a lot of people said Thai tea and I love Thai tea. So I was feeling it. I was like, yeah, okay, you know what? I'll get Thai tea. <laughs> Big mistake. My stomach. <laughs> Oh, oh, but it's so yummy, so it's fine. <coughs> so sweet. This is, I got the lowest amount of sugar I could. Zero. But my stomach. Ugh. Now I drink water. Skill issue? Definitely. It's okay. I'm fine. This is fine. I'm good. Let me make sure everything is fine. <sighs> everything is good on my end. How are you guys doing today? Good, good, sleepy. Go back to sleep. But then you'd miss the game, so I guess you can. Hopcon. Oh, Hopcon. Hopcon railing? I don't know how I feel about that phrasing, but. <laughs> Have fun with Star Rail. <laughs> Ooh, me too! Thank you for the super chat, thank you! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. <laughs> I swear! I just like put it on. I just like put on auto in the background. I haven't played through the story 
I can't get to the domains yet because I can't. I haven't played the story because I want to play it on stream. So I've just been playing the ley lines in the background. Like I've just been using up like my daily. Well, I guess it's not daily resin, but I've just been playing it in the background. Because I haven't d come to the story yet because I want to play it on stream. But the only way that you can get to domains, I think, is if you progress through the story and get to the location. So I'm like. Ugh. Uses it on ley lines. So that's what I've been doing. And it's just been okay. I know her name now is Sela. C Thought it was Seely, but it's Sela. Sela is just like alt, alt, alt. It's Sela. Yeah, it is. Right? That's what they called her. I was like listening to the Ian Dell of the story and they called her Sila. An NA. Yeah. Sila. So I was just. Auto battle like a true genius. I love auto. That's why I love the mobile games that I love, aka A3. So yeah, I've just been playing it in the background and that's it. I've been like opening the game, collecting my dailies, pressing, <laughs> using all my resin on the ley line and then logging out. <laughs> is an odd number so someone doesn't get a ship oh you mean like i thought you meant for a second i thought you meant the actual sentinels and i was like um <laughs> yes they do but you meant like a ship damn i guess we'll see well there's already been like a few instances where like the MC loves the glasses girl, but then he loves the other girl. There's been things going on, so who knows what'll happen in this game. Play more. Ha 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 
Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out. Remember? That's right. Girls. You stopped writing back to me. Oh, I was worried, you know. Yeah, sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school, too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute! Oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? Oh, I'm in good shape. I've got to get somewhere, too. But now, we can see each other anytime. He's got to put on a totally. show. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later. See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan. You're Yuki here. Yuki-chan. <laughs> so you're finally here. <laughs> okay. I love... I, I love these, like, ship dynamics. Where the girl is like a fucking badass bitch and she's like, ew, get away from me. And the guy's like, damn, I love that in a woman. <laughs> I love this dynamic too, though. Where the girls are like, get the hell away from me. And he's like, ah, she wants me. <laughs> but they never, but they're, it's just so good. <laughs> oh, she wants me. <laughs> <laughs> Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. I love that shit. You know what I mean? Other. She's the only person I really care about. And it's like, it's like the. It's so good. And then it's like, um. But like the they they say you know he's joking the guy is always joking like he's like oh you want me so bad and she's like shut the hell up. But, like, he actually genuinely cares about her. And he's just putting up a front. And then in those kind of situations, whenever the delinquent gets in trouble, he, like, shows up and he's, like, a little wimpy guy. And then he gets his ass kicked. When, and she's like, why did you try to save me? He's like, because I care you. Ah! Anyways, it's time to keep don't playing the game. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard. I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up. <laughs> it's fine if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said quit calling me that. Oh, Nenji. Hey, I'm Iguchi. I've been looking for you. Ugh. <sighs> Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takami of Suzu High. What are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. Wait. I'm so confused. Maybe it's just the sprite. This is... Wait. He goes to the school, right? <laughs> His uniform buttons are on the other side. <coughs> Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. Yeah, it's probably just the sprite. When it looks the transfer, that way. Huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look, th that's... It's just because that damn four eyes made a mistake. I mean... Obviously. Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? 
why here? Well... Hmm? Oh yeah, she works with like the... Yeah. Found her. Go on then. I've been waiting for you. What? You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. Wait! Oh. <coughs> Is this the future? Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. It didn't seem like it Entered was. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents. Twelve of which were sent to the hospital. Your reputation precedes you. You drag me out of the pen just for this? You're really earning your pay today, aren't you? Well, go on. Rake me over the coals. See if I care. That seems like a waste of time for both of us. Allow me to get to the point. Remember time travel? We've I know, but like... We've taken notice like, of your particular set of... He just... Skills. Exists all the time. We'd like to He's work with you. He's jumping back and forth everywhere. Seriously? And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not gonna be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. Damn. Your father, Heita Takamiya, currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. For now. The guy with the glasses now, sounds like we were Stein so from mind. It would Soul be quite Eater. easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. On to business then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Sounds like him, but I don't think he's the same person. Not so publicly. It seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. Is it quiet, we the game? We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. No, it's All good. of these children are of high school age. Okay. And are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. I turned it up by 0 0.1 just in case. Not 0 0.1, by half. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow oh, it's one because... of those dicks must have... He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but he's the only real family I have. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons, too? So they're using kids to make nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. Any of those curry boys end up dead. Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Ew. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business, anyways. Hell yeah. If you bastards got that much dirt on them. Why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? We are a special investigations unit. Government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. I am director of the SIU and your superior. Wait a minute. So this guy, wait. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. 
It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. All right, so they're making weapons. But what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Welcome Take back a look at Mickey. those documents thank you. on the table. Thank you, thank you. It's a list of their names. Ugh. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. <gasps> Natsuno. Class 1C. Ooh! Natsuno Minami. We need someone to investigate these students. And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Not John. But why her? Oh. <sighs> Before we get into the specifics of the job, do you have any questions for me? Uh, who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator, and your superior. What? Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. You know too much they now, got dirt though. on you too, Dopey. Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you. She doesn't look like she knows much. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <sighs> you have quite the abrasive personality. <laughs> Walks around his whole office. Had enough of this. We're not finished. <sighs> Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to but her. But didn't she lose her memories? Don't worry. She will work with us. Or she will? It's her destiny after all. This girl's about to, like, lose her memories and be like, Ah, my memories, I'm gonna forget everything soon. That's what she told Kurabe, at least. Or, not Kurabe. No sign of her today, either. <coughs> Where are you, Nachan? Wait, aren't these your friends? Churro. Hey, you! Got a sec? <clears throat> You're in class 1C. That right? Yes. Why do you ask? Well... Natsunomi Nami's in your class, isn't she? Uh, oh, yeah. She's been out for three days now. Have you heard anything? The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. Hmm. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in but we still kept right. She's the only person I... Did you need something or... Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. Like right in her face. You something? Oh, no. Never mind. Yui chan. Yui chan. Any news? No one at the school seems to know anything. Mm, I hope Natsuno chan's okay. <sighs> what should we do? Stop by Natsuno chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. Hey, weird yeah. guys! Got a sec. 
Nachan. We went our but we still kept she's the I heard you talking about Natsunomi Nami. Who are you? Oh shit, she's Takamiya, dropping. That's beside the point. <clears throat> I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. Because she's stuck in the past. We went to the house yesterday. But her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there too. Were they really the police though? <sighs> well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Usami chan! Sorry. Nachan hasn't been at home either. It's okay. Let's and those cops. Or whatever they are. What were they doing there? What are you doing? Uh oh. What's your problem? <coughs> you remember your orders, don't you? You're supposed to keep a low profile. Hmm. I can't recall. Maybe you've forgotten <laughs> about your father, too. Oh, what did you That's say? That's a low blow. Holy <laughs> shit. One more thing. Don't go looking for Natsunomi Nami. What? Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. Jesus In any geez. case, that Natsunomi was so Nami rude. Isn't your concern. <coughs> She's a part of my assignment. So stay out of my way. Are we clear? Nope. Hey, hold on! What could have happened to Nachan? I bet that four-eyed bastard has some answers. Time to do what I do best. Beat people up! <clears throat> Let's go! This is unacceptable. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsunomi Nami. And I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police mm. say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. Damn. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded. But our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation <gasps> is dangerous. <clears throat> I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome-kun has this under control. Hell no! As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Too Have bad, Bozo. <laughs> Screw that. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. I need to make. I'm like so bothered by how small I am. Like, why am I so small? Actually, maybe I was normal size. But well, you know what? This is fine too. <laughs> I wasn't even that small, actually, now that I think about it. All right. But maybe this isn't good enough. This is a good. Okay. What to do? <coughs> AC. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. AC. <laughs> that damn four eyes. He says there's some Grandma! Agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. There 
you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson! Erika Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erika. I will do my Iba? best to assist you in solving mysteries. <clears throat> How would you like to start? Oh, I have a one-track mind. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons, too? Not John. My ch we went our... But we still kept right. She's the only person... I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachon. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. You... Frickin' weirdo. Oh. Are you upset with me? <sighs> no. Just been antsy without my cigarettes. It's been several days <clears throat> since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Sinister? So, what should we do? Conduct <coughs> interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. Girl. I've always this wanted is real to be a life. detective too. Not a book. <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. Ugh. Which should we look into first? Cute! The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? <clears throat> it's the roof. What's that? This place is a dump. This is Amiguchi's. He got a 92? He's so smart. <laughs> Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. She thinks he's pretty. And then again, he did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Yup, still an idiot. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. He puts on a show for her. <laughs> He's got a... For you, Chan. <laughs> this is the funniest... Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our... But we still kept right. She's the only person. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It sh They may not be put there, honestly. So when is green? Does that mean... Oh, oh. It just means that these are the ones I'll use to interact. It doesn't... Necessarily... Okay. Interviewing. Oh, okay. So when it's mm. red on the top, it means that I have two points nice that I need to, to use it, with it? another character. And then when it's green on the top, it means... That I have new information about something did you see that, that I already have. Chip? The one tied to the fence okay. on the roof. Maybe not chance here. Or do you not. think it's some sort of sign to her lover? Oh. I see. I see. Natsuno Minami still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean. Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? <clears throat> <laughs> she was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? She had to go and see her alarm clock. Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsuno Minami? <sighs> I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. 
And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. Well, this is very useful. John was writing things in this notebook. Why didn't you things tell us this the other day? to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Hmm. Was there something else? Huh? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... She didn't ask. It was Yakushichi. <laughs> She's pretty dull, actually. Was there something else? Nope. Bye. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. You're the one next to her in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi Kisaragi, I think. No, stares at them. Have a minute. <laughs> I got some things to ask you. <laughs> now you. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. Damn. So, uh... Yes? Could you be... I mean, the way you're dressed. Are you one of those Sukeban girls? <sighs> oh, are you like hiding a razor in what? your skirt right now? Uh, of course not. This is the first time I've seen one in real life. Oh, wow. Uh, is your friend okay? <laughs> She's not. She's not okay. <clears throat> you stay here. Are we gonna go? To... Hello? You're on the track <coughs> team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. Okay, captain of the track team. Nachon, we, we, she, did you need something? Yeah, I did actually. I wanted to ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions, but I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me, right? <gasps> yep, I thought so too. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But... Wait, what? Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? A fire? Oh, uh, I don't remember a fire. I'm gonna be real. A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. What? Really? I heard it was arson. What? Hello. I can see it clearly now. What? The primary suspect. Yeah? I am certain. Who is it? Their intentions were not pure. So true. <laughs> you heard anything about that fire in the North Building? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't I mean, know if you kidnap someone, probably not. Right around the time of that fire, <clears throat> Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? Oh, 
Oh, it's you the on the girl. track team? Yes. Oh, yeah. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you do. <laughs> I was gonna say, strange, like, uh, <laughs> not to did stop she... coming to training, <laughs> but I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she She's was there a to little get silly something. all the time. Something like some kind of UFO looking thing. I don't know exactly. What? It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said not She saw it, the yeah, when she walked in the she like walked into the room one time and was like, Isn't that box on the ground gadget. yours? Mm. And that's Noah's like, You know about my box? And she's like, Yeah, you put it in your locker every damn day. <laughs> you know anything about the fire in the north? How could building? I not? <laughs> no. Not to know was thought that she was like sneaky sneaky, but in reality she was just silly. <laughs> Excuse me. That room is for authorized personnel only? Um actually shut the it's hell just up. A damn locker room. Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. Iba! Yo, Iba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh, you want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya san. <laughs> I shall not let you down. She's so cute! Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. Mm. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. Thanks, girl. We're in. <clears throat> Tiny nameplates. Nachans found it. Wait, the door just closed. This must be that notebook. The one that girl the in door just closed. was talking about. Who closed the door? She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. It closed on a huh? ah! I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be the other girl. Hmm. Tiny name plate. Not chance. <laughs> Nothing I have at all. I thought it was going to be the bandage girl being like... What the hell are you doing what in here? This is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. Oh god. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being. In summary, whoa. Aliens really <laughs> do exist. <laughs> Imagine writing this in your notebook. The word, whoa. An extraterrestrial <laughs> being. Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an investigative record of importance. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! Oh shit! Tokisaka Shrine. 
Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan. Either way. Oh, it's probably. I'm gonna what ask follows her about is an it. investigative. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number Seventeen. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. Why would you write all of this? A robot. <clears throat> Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. What? Like what? You heard anything about that? No, I'm s I don't know any. What does she mean by that? I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, there she is. Walked right past her. That damn four eyes. He says there's they may not put their on. something what huh? she she's in her name she's pretty dull damn that fire in the north building <clears throat> know anything about that i heard a teacher talking about it they said it was caused by a delinquent smoking cigarettes it wasn't you was it Hey, I laid off the cigs after I transferred here. Which means I'm not getting my nicotine The way that fixed. she's smiling. Which means you better While watch While she yourself. was like, was it you? Huh? A delinquent smoking cigarettes. <gasps> There's only one of those lame asses here. Damn. Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. I mean, I can ask them too. Nope. You went this way. This is a long story. Or I feel like they're usually shorter than this, but this one's pretty long. Ogata. I think it may be ill advised to associate with hoodlums. <laughs> I mean, true. Not the hoodlums. Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? Public roof? <laughs> I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> Damn, let the man dry his hanky! Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Oh, not me. Never.
So about Notch... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan, you know she's gone missing? Yeah, I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. Ew. Well, why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Wait. Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. What? I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. We saw that the yesterday. Yeah, case. but she no know me. Do I have to ask her for help after oh. all? Oh. I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> right. But Yuki didn't know that the girl that they were looking for was her. <sighs> have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. I heard there was a fire in the north building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. What? Something happened in the girls' bathroom <laughs> of the north building. Something happened in the girl. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the north building. Certainly. I remembered about her getting chased, but I think I was a little confused because Yuki, like, doesn't cooperate with... Well, it seemed like Holy she shit. was cooperating with the guys in the suit. I guess the game was just this? trying to make it seem There's that way, no but way in reality, she from hated fire. them. It seemed that she was more compliant in the flash or in the, in the time that we played yesterday but i guess that's just because the game was trying to make it seem like she was working with them more closely than she actually is so that we would get the wrong idea i guess it's because we're seeing it through nuts nose pov and she was probably shocked we are not allowed to be in here oh we'll get in so much trouble if they <laughs> find us what is wrong with you <laughs> it just feels like we're actual detectives now Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. How fucking dare uh. they? Free the pee. Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. I have constructed a criminal profile. Hmm. Our suspect is a maintenance lady built like a bear. What do you think? The troll from Harry Potter. <laughs> troll in the dungeon. This isn't how I expected a crime scene to look. This is actually how it looks like, levels, though. The perpetrator's the girl's name bathroom. is always written <laughs> After somewhere the troll in fight. <laughs> Yeah, when there's a dead body nearby. You really are strange. Damn. Damage door. These scratch marks. They're carved pretty deep in there. Oh my god. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. <gasps> Someone's eyeglass frames. Wait! They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Usami! Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken. So they won't be wearing them anymore. 
Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah, <clears throat> I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in Class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the Class 1 hallway just now. I gotta find her. I gotta find her. I love this idle expression of her fixing her skirt. It's so cute. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh, wait for me. Oh, <laughs> I was so cute. <laughs> They're gone. She was somewhere around here before. Where could she have gone? Home? She's got to be nearby. Maybe in her classroom? Not here either. Please don't run off like that so suddenly. I can't keep up. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> oh. Huh. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You went to the girls' bathroom in the north building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions, anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? That's what she just said. I have nothing to do with it. Oh, Why would yeah? I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? <sighs> oh, yeah, Will. Guess what? Glasses. Are these your glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. <laughs> so obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. What if you just bought new ones? All right, listen up. These glasses <laughs> were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. You can just buy two. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? <laughs> fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Hmm? Yeah? I saw her... The day of the incident... Usami-chan... <gasps> You're ratting your friend! I would go, what the hell? <laughs> uh, but I really did see you Yo! there. I saw Natsuno-chan there too. Oh my god! Wait, what? <laughs> them wait for me i should hurry up and get these to the art room <laughs> miwa-chan is fucking oh natsuno-chan miwako aren't you supposed to be at training where are you off to in such a hurry <laughs> where isn't really the <sighs> sorry miwako what was that about hmm? uh, -chan? what happened to your leg did you hurt yourself? <sighs> she ignored me? Oh, shit. That's not like Usami-chan. Well, <sighs> awkward. You know what? Deserved. That's what you uh... get for ignoring me, my chest. <laughs> I've never even seen that place. Seriously, Miwako? <laughs> but I... What's going on? Yui-chan! So, I was saying... But that can't be right. No, it's true. I really did see them. 
that's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami-chan was with me the whole time. <gasps> At the front gate, remember? Uh, that's right. Wait. What? You know what, Jen? If you met with them after that, would you not have noticed? Maybe she asked her, like, um, is your leg okay? And she was probably like, what so are you two talking about? <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> but what about Natsan? I, I mean, how did Natsuno Minami look? Good. <sighs> She's so cute. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah. How does she look? Slay. <laughs> On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. But she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. But I don't know which year or class. Mild mannered. So two Tomi. And a girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. <laughs> no! about what happened in the girl's bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. I love Yuki, she's so cute. Hey, C. <laughs> Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. Aww. Watching her drink is so cute. This place is a dump. Oh. There you are. I've been looking... Hmm. Are you upset with me? What? Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Oh. Wait, let me pick up the paper. This is... And then again. Yup. Ah, so cute. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Something happened in the... Which one is new? Right before the incident in the girl's bathroom, this one? there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Yes. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Maybe we should look around the girl's bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? They've started renovating. What? Even if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. Man, don't you have anything better to do? <clears throat> Takamiya san, you are the Holmes, and I am the Watson. Erica Aiba, at your service. Please call me Erica. You're I will so do my cute. best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? <gasps> <sighs> so, what should we do? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to. <sighs> I'm not playing for. Uh, yes, I am. Bless you. Thank you. Ugh. Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Thank you for the super chats. Thank you! It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. <sighs> she isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary... It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. 
In the flow chart? Um, I think here I talked to the glasses girl the first time, but I think the difference is gonna be that I'm gonna talk to Juro this time. He like came out of the room and I didn't talk to him last time. So I think that's probably the difference is that last time I can't check. Oh, I can. Isaka Shrine, front gate. Well, last time I talked to her and while we were talking, Jiro left the classroom. So I feel like now I have to wait for him to come outside. Unless she'll start talking to him though. How long is it gonna take? Unless I can just go to the front gate. Never mind. Have a minute. I got something. What? Maybe we should look around the girls' bathroom again. Oh, didn't they've started, but oh. even if we can... Oh, on. Well, shit. Huh? She was... She's a name... Her name... She's pretty dull, actually. Do I have the shrine in here? No. I don't. I don't know if Drew's gonna leave. What follows is it These advanced who could have dreamed that an actual gate was Tokisakash, maybe not John. Either way, it's Okay. Oh Yo, where's Tokisaka Shrine? It's nearby, actually. <gasps> I should go check it out. Take me there, will ya? I'm gonna go grab my bag. I'll meet you at the front gate. Nice! Oh god. <clears throat> Shino no me. I actually thought I had to wait for Jiro. <laughs> hey. Yuki Takamiya. Weren't you told not to contact me? Shino no me. There's something I need to speak oh. to you about. <clears throat> We're gonna talk? All right, fine. Make it quick. So before Natsunomi Nami vanished, I heard she was being pursued by men in black suits. If that's true, You've got some serious explaining to do. I've already told you. Natsunomi Nami has to do with my investigation. But I can tell you one thing for certain. We didn't kidnap <clears throat> her. If we had, there'd be no need for this investigation in the first place. <sighs> Are you giving me your word on that? Their school uniform. Get back to your assignment. I love the sailor uniform and the purple ribbon is so cute. Something that the girl and she oh, said right. not and described it as. Wait. What? There was something you said before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. What? You said you hid something for me. Oh, right. You told me to hide it. You don't remember, do you? It was in the passageway to the old school building. The old school building? What happened there? You were watching something. It was being shown through a projector. And you started crying. What? A projector? Yeah, and you were saying something about four eyes. Mr. Ida? Oh. What? Sudden. My pills. 
せえ死ぬのめウェイウェイアミクチーズ Sorry to make you wait, Takamiya-san. Shall we get going? Give me a minute. It seems Shinonome has forgotten what happened in the old building's passageway. But I remember. What? It wasn't too long after I transferred here. Is the glasses I guy? I mean, she was near I mean, the old school dad building. or is it him or? I was thinking there were fewer people around here. So, this is the old school building. I heard it's going to be demolished soon. Not the popcorn emoji. No doubt it is old. It was built during the war. Seems like a shame, really. This place is so quiet. Would have been a perfect place to hang out. This school is so pretty. If I had been serious about my studies, I wonder if I could have gone into Sakura the normal way. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? My ID is now registered. I'm shutting off your AI function. Oh! <gasps> BJ, Search no! It. It's somewhere in your memory. Look for the information on me and Mr. Ida. It was all a lie. Is this me from the future? His love was nothing but empty words. Mr. Ida, he was using me right from the very start. What? I was such a fool. We are all that remains of humanity. And still we deceive each other, so filled with hate. I have had enough. This can't be real. Humanity has always been fated for ruin. Project Ark was a mistake, but it is already in its second stage. I cannot stop it. All I can do is derail it. I have linked in parts of the terraforming project. The heavy machinery will then purge humans from all sectors. If everything goes according to plan, the final phase will be reset. And all sectors will fall into a never-ending loop. What remains will be a peaceful world. Finally free of humanity. No, I couldn't have. This place will be destroyed as well. Oh, shit. The human race has reached its end. We have no need for a future. What the hell? What in the hell? One man. It can't be. Uh, uh, hey. Wait a minute. You're the girl that was with four eyes. Shinonome, right? It's impossible. Are you okay? Did I do it? Was it really me? I destroyed the world? Ah! No, I won't believe it. Mr. Ida would never deceive me. What are you talking about? I mean... There's no way. That isn't my future. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. Okay? Come on, stand up. You... Who are you talking about? Was it Four Eyes? Aww. If that's the future we're heading for... And what good are these? Shit. <gasps> Girl. Shit for real. The squad. Uh, 
here. <clears throat> Don't you need these? Minana, thank you! Why? Why are you trying to help me? Well, I just... You're my senpai at the SIU, so... Oh, yeah. Hello, you guys. That thing is crazy. <laughs> Inanna spoke badly it, about kind of Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to buy her some when we were together in Japan, and she was like... I was trying so hard to convince her. I was like, you could rock it, girl. You could. And she was like... No. <laughs> it was like the first the first day we met. I was like, so how do you feel about getting a pair? <laughs> I love you guys. Welcome. Hi Finana. <laughs> so how do you work this thing? I want to see that video again. Uh, Hello, everyone. We're playing hey, 13 Sentinels. Are you all right? Um, get that thing out of here. Brain go crazy Please. in this game. Don't tell Mr. Ida. Don't tell anyone. Please. I can't believe you collapsed on me like that. Uh, hey, whoa. You sure you're okay to get up? Are you all right? Is this the same day when Jiro walks in Here. and sees her sleeping or? It's your medicine. Morimura made you take those pills, too. It was the first thing she did when I carried you in here. Are you sure it's okay? To take so much of it, I mean. I don't understand. I thought it was just the animation. Why I was like, that's a lot. You threw the bottle on the ground, so I picked it up for you. I threw it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, about that thing... Are you sure it was okay? Huh? She forgot. What? The thing you told me to hide. <sighs> I said no such thing. Are what? you trying to play games with me? You were babbling on and on about that damn four eyes. And crying. A lot. <laughs> What's going what? on? Hi, Uki! <laughs> Don't lie to me. Hello, Stargazer! What the hell is going on with this girl? It's like two seconds. Two seconds apart. <laughs> Hello, everyone! It literally just happened. <sighs> Shit, seriously? Girl, that's a lot! What are those for, anyways? I can't think straight unless I take them. No! Stop! Oh, dude. It looks like bad news to me. Oh. oh, damn. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Takamiya-san, please, just stay out of this. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. It's just... You don't look too well. Maybe some medicine would make you feel better. Holy booba. <laughs> you should see her butt. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but it's true. Good thing we have so many other characters now. Wait. Over 
currently at five. <clears throat> well, why does the background of yours look very dystopian? What's about to happen? Um. <laughs> Natsuno's unlocked? <gasps> ah! Why well, should play the other ones that I haven't played yet? <clears throat> How do I go with Sami first? Ah. So I unlocked her before. The other girl. <gasps> oh, man. What? <laughs> Another one. They've already got like four at the intersection. How many phone booths do they really need? Oh, time travel. This is so old. What am I even looking at? I and guess all she's these from cars the future. are so blocky. They look so weird. <laughs> she was from like, yeah, 2024. Oh, I think I've seen signs like that before. <clears throat> They're just like in those retro videos I've seen under the Showa era tag. The tag! This is kind of surreal. Even the stoplights here are huge. Not the hashtags. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaraki. I'm sorry. Wait, okay, for real, though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? Girl! <laughs> the 80s! This is so crazy! How do they even talk to each other? <sighs> Bye. Going to each other's houses. We used to do that in the 2000s too, by the way. <laughs> Not even just the 80s, but in the 2000s too, we would even then go to each other's houses to talk to each other. Whoa. Real Yankee. Oh my God. We really are in the 80s. <laughs> I can't believe that hair. Hey. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. <gasps> what even is that? A pompadour? Uh-oh. The show air is so weird. And what the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> huh? Your hair, duh. I just said. You trying to start shit? I just can't stop laughing. <gasps> what even is that? A pompadour? The show airs. What the hell? Huh? Your hair. D you trying to? Don't ever make fun of his hair. I've watched JoJo Please Part Four. Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little. Well, she has difficulty with social interaction. <laughs> hey! Don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. What the hell? Goddamn freaks. Well, there goes my day. No! Oh! Oh, Neji! Oh, poor Stop God. Stop causing problems. No! You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. If we're to be accepted here, we must respect the place. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. Sakura High. I trust you know where to find it. It's the same school. I expect you'll adjust quickly. That is not my school. Everyone from that class is old enough to be my mom. Don't act like it's the same. We left mine back in 2025. Kisaragi-kun. I understand your situation, but I need you to cooperate. 
So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, I'm way back in 1985. So like, how old am I technically? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> so about those facilitators. You mean Shikishima? The Negative military corporation? 40 years old. All they care about is getting their hands on future technology. I guess 40. You sure Minus we're not 16. being used? Negative 24. That is not your concern. I remember seeing that company in the news back in 2025. They make everything from fridges to missiles. What? They've got tons of factories across the world. Take me back to my own time. I thought I explained She's not this 16 already. yet. The oh, negative 25. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. I've still got to go help my mom and dad. They won't be there. It's already too late. I doubt you'd get the clearance to time jump anyway. That another one of their orders? <sighs> I didn't want to get dragged into this. Am I supposed to just take it? Whatever you say? Precisely. You should count yourself lucky to have escaped with us. I never saw it myself. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool. Got it. Still, even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't gonna let me. Why would you wanna- What I need is Why? a little leverage over them. Why? I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. Why would you wanna go see that? Until further notice, here are your orders. Do not act on your own. Remain inconspicuous. And for now, simply attend school she's as a usual. Teenager, I guess. Am I clear? <clears throat> I want to see it. So everything back home's been destroyed. Yeah, right. Oh, I'll believe it when I see it. She doesn't believe them. I gotta get leverage and go back to my own time. So in 2025, but now I'm way back in next. So like, Shikishima is a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on employer of the year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders, but they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is Pretty just crazy. one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Usami-chan, did you check out all those books? What are they? Well, you know. I love reading. Hey, do you mind if I take a look? They're not that interesting. I just want to peek. Let's see. Business Quarterly? Corporate Guides. <laughs> Economic Reports. This is impressive, Usami-chan. Are you studying for a career in business? Uh, not really. I was kind of looking for some leverage. You know, dirt on some big shady corporation. What the hell? <laughs> so then I could, like, control them a little. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Usami-chan, that's a little... weirder than I was expecting. Miyo-chan's just trying to live a normal high school life. I could do this in a snap if I had internet here. Manually searching through books? So inconvenient. Internet? Uh, oh, uh, like, you know, net profits, big business talk, <laughs> or something. Oh, I internet. The whole library for reference materials. Wasn't hard to find things on Shikishima, but it's just like stock market stuff. I should have known. Nothing I could use as leverage. Shikishima's a conglomerate with. You always see their back in the Meiji, but they ex during the war, and now she. I've been meaning to tell you. 
I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? Phew! Sounds good. Those crepes from yesterday are gonna be hard to beat, though. Back home, they went a little too crazy with the toppings. Sometimes simple is best. Oh, so that's what she meant by the middle school I went to was a little far from here. Mm, good point. Crepes would be nice, too. Do you think we could get both? Uh. <laughs> hey, Miwako. I know this is random, but... There's this company called Shikishima Industries. You know anything about them? Shikishima. They're the ones who make ships and things, right? Hmm. I have this old friend. His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Ooh. Miwako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Those big mega corps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. One step closer to getting the dirt. <laughs> She's so. <laughs> Who's the friend? <clears throat> so in 2020, but now I'm way. You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? No. <laughs> Did they just ditch? Oh, don't worry, he'll be here soon. He's not the type to break promises. I knew it! What's up? I'm here. It's that Pompadour guy! Hold on. What's he doing here? This is my old friend, Nenji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out. <laughs> what? Well, um, that would be her, Usami-chan. Huh? You're the chick who shat on my hair. Real dog face, aren't you? The heck is that supposed to mean? I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. Damn. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> hold on. What did you say to this guy? <laughs> Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? I'm standing right here. He's so silly. <laughs> Why did it have to be you? The feelings mutual, man. Please, uh, can we all calm down? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. <gasps> what was... Huh? What? They're gone! I could have sworn I just saw them. the future oh good you weren't waking up I thought you might have died damn what that's just a fast happened? assumption I don't know there was some kind of flash and then we were here I guess with the surrounding things, though, it's not that big of an assumption. Damn it. Still alive over there, Captain Pompadour? My name is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dogface. Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. Please, we can't be fighting right now. What happened? 
happened to all these buildings? It's like... We were attacked. <sighs> Do you know something? I know the city got leveled. You saw that flash, right? Must have been a nuke. A, a nuclear bomb? You realize we were at school just now. Isn't this downtown? Way I figure it. The blast must have knocked us all the way over here. Um. Okay, never mind. You're with just no a no cuts or anything. Hey. You're like a big greasy roach. <laughs> I bet you could survive a nuke, no problem. What the fuck? What is you he got flash a better for? Idea? <laughs> what the hell else could You happen? are like a big greasy roach. Blushes. Oh. <laughs> if we're here, then... No way. <laughs> if it's nuclear war, then that means... There's radiation everywhere! We're going to die! We have to run, or get cover, or... Deep breaths, Miwako. I'll try. Oh. The world got destroyed in my time. According to what Goto said, anyway. So maybe... This Look is... Look at him blushing like a roach. Kayaki <laughs> Huh? Oh, you're right. Look at that Thank sign. you for the super chat. Thank you. It must be near the shopping district. The hell? You know how far that is from school? Very? Look, I don't know what the hell happened. But nobody else. You call me a roach? I'd blush too. You think they all evacuated? Oh, Grim, you little roach. Welcome oh, back to Member Seas. Thank you. Where's everyone else? Miwako. Dad. <coughs> Mom. Wait. You hear that? Uh-oh. What the heck is that? A rescue helicopter? Uh, no, no, it's... What the hell is it? Hide. Now. That ain't some kind of bug, is it? <laughs> Looks like it's clear. I don't feel. I love him too. He's so cute and silly. What was that thing? Whatever it was, I got a bad feeling about it. I remember seeing it in the news back home. It's a kaiju. This isn't the city you two know. It's hard to tell with everything messed up like this, but I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? <laughs> Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. Yeah, you didn't. the road did you step on me thank you for the super chat thank you i'm scared i'm scared of roach <sighs> i'm scared of roaches i'm thirsty oh my god how's senpai doing she was struggling for a while but I think she's calmed down. We need to get her to a doctor. Maybe, but how are we supposed to do that? Shinonome Senpai. Do you think she came here at the same time? Probably. We'll figure it out when she wakes up. Anyway, once that moron gets back, let's decide what to do from here. Okay. Oh god, yeah. They gotta drink water. 
like more than anything Shigishima else. Shigishima's a conglomerate with Bullet. You always see they're back in the Meiji, but they exterring the war. And now they're Shikishima Indus. <sighs> this place isn't what it used to be. Back in 2025, it was my home. Shinonome Senpai. I saw her hanging around Goto. Maybe she's from the future too. Or maybe she's from the past. Oh, there you are. Nice of you to drop by. I'm back, Miwako. You've got some nerve. What? I take my eyes off you for one second, and you just go running off looking for your own house? We were waiting for you, you know. Yeah? And how's that sickly looking second here? <laughs> Does not care. Well, she hasn't woken up yet. You were stuck here either way. You're really gonna give me that? So how was it? Before we get into that, here, have a drink. Copped it from a busted vending machine. You too. Aww. We're not gonna last long without food and water. There should be cans lying around if we look. Um. Thanks. He's so good. <sighs> hey, I found a calendar when I was digging around. The year on it was 2025. I guess this really is the future. What about Everywhere one for looked, you? The place is falling Maybe he apart. drank one before he ran it's back. It's no different from here. But I'm telling you, there was some crazy shit out there. Like what? Kaiju. Dead ones everywhere. <clears throat> so, did you find your house? You could say that. But I wasn't there anymore. Guess it got replaced by some skyscraper. <gasps> wasn't looking so hot, though. What about my place? Sorry, but it's the same deal. The place is nothing but a giant parking lot. What about Mom and Dad? If this is 2025, that means 40 years have passed. Your guess is as good as mine. I wonder what happened to my place. One was like a metal centipede. Big as a truck. Another Ew. one was real stocky. The size of a damn building. Ew. They were just lying all over the place. Ew. I never liked creepy crawly things. I couldn't stand to look at them too long. How did you know they were dead? How do you think? They were torn apart. It was pretty obvious. Ugh. What? You need to see it to believe me? She did say I need to see Damn. to believe earlier. The hell do we do now? <laughs> I should look for my place. I need to see if my parents are okay. Ah! It's my turn to head out. Sorry. Just wait here for a bit. Usami chan. Hey, wait! Miwako, oh, stay back with that second year. He's gonna come! Oh no. <sighs> My apartment building. It's ruined. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. You don't have to push yourself. He's so uh, if you want to cry, then ah! cry. <laughs> don't be stupid. I'm not crying. Oh, yeah? What's with the voice then? You got a cold or something? <gasps> ah! I always sound like this. Whatever you say. Goes insane. 
There was a cake shop on the first floor. They had this pear tart I used to get. It was so good. Megumi and I. We loved those things. That one of your friends? Yeah. Megumi. You saw what was happening here. That's why you... There was a cake. They had this pear. Megumi and I... That one of your... Yeah. Megumi. You saw what was happening here. That's why you... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. He's so cute! Ah! Recall. Ah! Renia Goto. Why you gotta do this to me? Like, what, I'm supposed to go to class and pretend everything's normal? Well, it's not. This place is 40 years old. Miwa-chan. No. Yes. Those girls over there. They look about my age, but back home they must be in their 50s. That's too weird. Sorry for making you wait, Miwa-chan. Aww. Miwa-chan, where were you? There was Sleeping. a bed available in the nurse's office, so I took a nap. You skipped six period for that? I didn't really mean to, but... Yeah. <laughs> when I woke up, class was already over. <sighs> Thank you for the super I chat! Thank up. you! No! It's good because the That's buttons the are only a little bit, a little bit nice. open. It's good oh, well. because he only does no like two of sorry them. For myself. Time to check out the library. We need to find some dirt on Shikishima. But jeez, not having a smartphone is suffering. Oh, Megumi. Megumi, wait. Tell me. So you're here too. I'm so glad you're okay. Megumi, what happened to our city? You were there, right? You stayed back. Well, my mom and dad, they're fine, right? Goto's just making things up. Tell me it's all a big lie. Ugh. It has to be, right? Hero. Hey, that guy who just walked by, that's Izumi, right? He's in my class here, so I've seen him around. But when I talk to him, he's like a totally different person. He's all nervous and stuff. It's weird. Did something happen? Oh. As a result of battle, he... He lost his memories. Huh? Thank you for the super chat! Thank you! I just finished watching part one of this. I'm so sorry for playing it for eight hours. <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness, thank you! No, thank you for the super chat and thank you. I hope we can make many more years of EGN memories together. Thank you! Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Like, he hit his head? It'll all come back, right? Uh, girl, no. I don't think so. They said it was permanent. No way. So, he really is a different person at this point. Does that mean he doesn't remember you? Oh. What now? Are we supposed to just give up on him? I could never, ever do that! Oh, I'll never give up on him. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Megumi. I'm so sorry. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, 
Okay. We'll do more. But my, I, I have to pee. <laughs> I'll be right back. Captain Pompadour is full of beans. So true. I'm back. <sighs> More. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Welcome back, Usami chan. Where's she? Thanks. Did Senpai wake up? Darn. I'm back. I'm back. Here. Found him at a convenience store over there. Oh, he's so... Got enough for both of you. I'm not a big candy guy, so have at it. Thank you. He's so good! Aww. There's three that more convenience stores okay. across the intersection. Plus the one right over there. <laughs> How many of those things do you future people need? It's many. <laughs> many. Not a lot we can do from here. If we're gonna go, we gotta head out before it gets dark. What do you think? You're right. Just let me rest for a sec. Man, we've gotta do something. How about we burn something? You know, put up a smoke signal. Mm. Might be airplanes flying overhead. That way they could find us. Or kaiju. There's no time to be tired. What I need is a sugar rush. Dopio. <laughs> so how was it? <laughs> well, we got the zoomies. About my apartment, the whole building was destroyed. Oh no! And well, no one was there. 
I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Hiding, maybe. <sighs> so that's how it is. I wonder what else we can find. I'm gonna check out the kaiju. Oh, where were they? Huh? Hey, wait! Miwako, stay back with that second year. You're so awesome! Over here? Oh my god. Dead as a doornail, right? Unless... This is some kaiju. It looks more like a machine. Come to think of it, I was talking to Natsuno. Maybe this thing's a big alien weapon. Is oh this god. a control? Where is he going? Oh god, I'm so worried. For an alien machine, it looks pretty familiar. Guess we're not so different. What's up? Nothing. Just thought I saw someone. Over there, in the rubble. Where? Maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you. I swear I saw it. Oh shit! Hm? Kisaragi, hide! Don't be stupid! What's your Hurry. deal? <gasps> what? What is that? Get back in here. I can see her. I can see her braid. Industries logo. So all these kaiju-looking things, Shikishima made them. That means it wasn't an alien attack. It was a man-made one. But why? Well, that was loud. <laughs> the Shikishima logo just popped out of nowhere. It's from the Kaiju's computer. Guess it's not broken after all. White button. Biometric ID scanned. No match found. Access denied. Red button. Biometric ID scanned. No match found. Access denied. Blue button. Biometric ID scanned. No match found. <laughs> Access denied. Wait, but doesn't your dad? Whatever I press, it's the Word? same. Word? Maybe you're doing it for wrong. the company. Let me try. But this stuff, you just gotta. Authorized board member, administrative ID. <gasps> See, something came up. Board member, like Shikishima board member. Maybe because my pops is an exec. 
Wait, you're a rich kid? <laughs> Shut it! Ah! What? Terraforming project number eight eight three four. Interstellar development? D terraforming another planet? Third phase. Surface construction and modification. Colossal autonomous heavy machinery. D series D eight hundred. Surface excavation unit. Giant molar. What? This kaiju is Shikishima heavy machinery? If that's true, these machines were made for planetary development. What are they doing on Earth? Especially in the past. Hell if I know. I mean, realistically, we should play in order. I mean, there's no real order, but, 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 ah! follow your heart. Okay. <laughs> Put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. What? What's going on? Hey, are you even listening? What the hell just happened? Shit, the, the train. It just went off the rails and. Mm. I didn't know you could sleep standing up. No, this is. Same platform as before. The hell is this? Hmm? We were in that train car, and then the whole thing got knocked off the line. So how are we here? No way we would have walked away from an accident like that. Kisaragi, weren't you on that train too? How do we get back here? You mean the train I'm about to get on? You're... about to? Oh no, ReZero? You're being weirder than usual. Are you okay, man? Look, just... I need you to listen to me, okay? Uh, whoa, what are you getting so serious about? I'm saying, I've been on this platform before. Well, duh, this is how you get to school every day. No, I mean, just now. I was here. Uh, is this like a setup for a joke? No, wait. I remember. It wasn't even my train. I got on the semi express to go after you, Kisaragi. What? You and I were together the whole time, right? Uh, I think I'd know if we were together. <laughs> Not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> it's the same station. <laughs> She's so cute. They're both so cute. Should have figured you assholes would still be here. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. You guys need some new material. The hell are you trying to say to me? I think it's about time we settled our shit. <sighs> we already did. <laughs> I beat your ass into the ground. <laughs> I guess that didn't count either. What we'll crawled up your ass anyway? Heard you were talking shit on the Kuriai gang. Saying all we got is strength in numbers. News to me. No more running. 
We settle this right here, right now. No more running. Oh, we're we fighting? This right here, right now. On the train platform of all places? Hey, hold on. What the heck's going on? Cut that out. Relax. I'm not gonna do the same fight twice. I don't have time for that shit anyway. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <gasps> <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary school What or the hell? <laughs> That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? Oh, you shit! You wanna say that again? Say it to my face. Yo! Come on! Hey, stop it! Let's go! Man, not again. Damn it! Girl, don't get on that train. Well, that's my train. No! Bye, or whatever. No, no! Hey, wait! You can't get on that. You're gonna regret it. You're being super weird right now. Just believe him. Look, shut up and listen. Uh -oh. You can't get on that. I can't, huh? So you can just decide that for Girl, me? Girl, I swear! It's not like... Like you can just tell me what to do. I'm so done with you. No! Why? If your... If your friend was... God damn it! Ah! Just like before. If your friend was like that adamant about something, wouldn't you not? Even if it was crazy, like even if it was like a crazy thing to say, I would still be like, um, okay. What? Why are you here? This isn't even your train, right? Because he's worried. Kisaragi so always gets on that train, and the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? You're not listening to me, damn it! Because you're not making any sense. What, you just wanted to have the last word? Wait, that's it. This is the same thing as before. You got all mad at me, so I went after you. So, when was this? Well, can't do much now that I'm back here, I guess. You're such a psycho. I don't know if you're just a delinquent or whatever, but I've never liked thugs like you. A lie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, guess I should have figured. Ah! No goddamn way. He's so silly. <laughs> Showing up here. Worry more, I didn't say anything about this. I remember now. This is what My happened eyes. to the other train. <laughs> Ow! Kisaragi. Like that. 
Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though... Uh. Hey, are you even listening? <clears throat> this is like Stein's gate. I'm back. It's happening all over again. Put it like that. Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. Uh, <coughs> hey, are you even listening? Uh, I'm back. It's happening all over again. Just like invite her to go out on a date or something. Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was... butt naked too. <laughs> That's what that guy was saying. All this stuff about how I've got to find a key. No idea what the hell he's talking about. But... I gotta find a way out of this crazy loop. And right now, <coughs> the only clue I got is this key thing. The key? The only character we've met who had a key was... Sekigahara A, who had a random car key. So Kisaragi always gets on that train. And the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? <laughs> We gotta do something! The kaiju are coming! What? Really? Where? I mean, like, not yet. <laughs> they get here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Cause I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? Well, she's gotta understand now. She's also a time traveler. kind of weird yeah it's really getting to me I'm already sick of all this shit but what can I do right you know hey Kisaragi you don't have some kind of key handy right what does that even mean I have the key to my house is this it nah probably not I mean, hell, even I've got some house keys. <laughs> What's this key thing they keep talking about? How the hell do I even find it? What do I do? Just go through everyone's goddamn pockets? <laughs> None of this shit makes sense. Hey, where are you going? <gasps> Isn't that... I feel like I know that guy she's with. Who okay, is he? Why are you being all sneaky? Uh, I don't know. No reason. <laughs> Wait, that's Iori over there. <sighs> what are you hiding from Iori? That's not it. Uh. What? Don't tell me you like Iori. Hey, it's not like that. Uh oh. <sighs> Juro. Isn't that Karabe? Why hey, is she mad? I'm still talking to you here. Oh, sorry. <sighs> <laughs> Stop dodging the question. I want a real answer. For real, it's not like that. Then what is it like? What do you care? You're not my girlfriend. <gasps> Why are you even getting so worked up? It's not a big deal. I was just curious. <gasps> Sheesh. So true. Fancy meeting you here. Usami-chan. Iori, your place isn't this way, right? Where are you going with Okino-kun? I've just got a thing over in Tsutsuji. There's the train. Let's go, Okino-kun. 
Seriously. You're being really weird. Don't get on that train. Hanging around. Kinda hard to talk to Fuyusaka like this. Well, that's all. Seriously, you're being really weird. Wait, that's not the right train. It's the one. After we well, fight them. Well, look what we got here. Ogata. Great. This guy. What? You think you're better than me? What's this key thing they keep talking about? How the hell do I even bring find it? What do I do? None of this sh Hey, you guys got this key thing? What key? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. I, I had my motorcycle key. And my teacher took it away. <laughs> yeah, boo freaking who. I think it's about time we settled our shit. You gotta chill out, man. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? No time for this crap. How about we talk this out? How about screw you? <laughs> no more running. We settle this right here, right now. Bye. The train's already here. I'm gonna go. No! Hey, hold it! I mean, just hang on a sec. I really need you to stay off that train. Okay, seriously, what's going on? I don't even know how to describe it. Just... It's... It'll be really bad. Come on, girl, you, you gotta believe to that. Run? No! You think... I'd run from you? Huh? <laughs> so Kisaragi always get in the train always. How the hell can I make? <sighs> you tried. You <laughs> I have to beat the shit out of them. Huh? Damn it! Can't just leave her alone. Ow! <laughs> this fucking guy! Leave me alone! <laughs> Always turns out the same. <laughs> the train gets derailed. Kizaragi doesn't make it. Did you find the key? No! Answer me, Ninji Ogata. Man, I don't goddamn know. Who the hell are you? What's even going on here? You gonna explain any of this shit? Find it, and I'll tell you. If you want to survive. You need to find the key. Time for a do-over. You're going back. Damn. Hey! It's your... birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday I guess when you to like that, you. Happy hey, birthday to you. I should slow down Happy and think birthday, a little. Happy birthday, dear Pembroke. Happy birthday hey, are you to listening? you! Ooh, happy uh, birthday! I hope you have an awesome, I'm awesome, back. awesome birthday! It's happening all over again. Welcome back to Member Seas! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you! I know you were the super chat as well. Thank you. Got a three hour drive ahead of me. Hope you have fun. Thank you! Hope you have safe driving. Safe driving. Safe driving wherever you're, he wherever you're heading! Happy birthday, bad boy! Thank you! Hope you have an awesome, awesome birthday. We gotta do something! The kite. What? Really? Where? I mean, like... Not Just got yet. back in with the hour drive? They get luck. here after oh we goodness. get on this train. <laughs> everyone's driving for how three hours. How do you hours. know that? Because I saw it. Uh, Shit, how do I... Hey, where are you going? Isn't that... I feel like Yori. I'm cool. 
Why are you being all sneaky? I, I don't know. Wait, that. <sighs> what are you hiding? That's not it. What? Don't tell me you like. Hey, Do so I go to Juro? <laughs> while she's talking to Yuri? Isn't that? Hey, I'm still talking. I guess so. <sighs> Stop, Dodge. I want a real. For real. It's then what is it? What do you care? Why are you even getting so worked up? It's not a big deal. She fancy meeting you here. Kizaragi's hanging around. Kind of hard to talk to Fuyusaka like this. Your place this. isn't this way, right? Where are you going with? Your I know I saw Karabe around here. Must have gone somewhere. What the hell? Seriously, you're being really weird. He's gone. Can I just get on? Guess not. Where'd she go? You're gotcha. just slow. <laughs> Wait, can't I just... It's not like that. Then what is- What do you care? Why are you even getting so- It's not a big deal. She- Fancy meeting you here. Kisaragi's well, kinda hard to talk to- your place isn't this way, right? Where I know I saw it must have gone- on the train See a couple school kids uh, about my age. Looks like Mira's sister. <gasps> what? A couple school kids? What the hell? Was that like magic? Nah. The hell am I thinking? What? Ogata-kun, did you need something? Huh? Uh, yeah. Okay, look, I know this seems real sketchy. I mean, heck, I'm the guy who chased you onto a train here. <laughs> you don't have to say that. something I gotta know. She didn't know. Do you have some kind of key on you? I mean, not like a regular house key. It's supposed to be kind of special, except I don't really know how. <sighs> yeah, I do. Yeah, this still sounds pretty damn weird, huh? Hey! <laughs> hey, hold on. Why? Why are you looking for something like that? She runs Good away. Question. Man, I don't know how I'd even explain it. You're looking for the key? Ah! You're ah! the one who originally carried it. Young man. The school nurse? Wait, I was just talking to Fuyusaka. <sighs> Wait a sec. Are you Fuyusaka or... Wait, I know you. 
the League of Darkness. What? I remember now. You're one of the bad guys. This'll only hurt for a moment. Seventy-nine. Playing this late? Oh, Should you be him. out here alone, young man? When he was younger. I'm not playing! I'm training! Say, you must be Nenji Ogata-kun, right? How about I walk you back to your house? Uh, you're fishy, lady. <laughs> you talk like the League of Darkness people. They say all that same stuff when they kidnap kids. The League of Darkness? The bad guys from Common Hero, duh. Oh my god. Right. Kids and their TV. <laughs> but you know, I think you're the real bad guy here. Eight years from now, you're going to call a bunch of monsters and destroy the world. Am not? I'd never turn to the side of evil. <laughs> you're still going to do it whether you're good or Am evil. Am not. Sometimes things just happen. <laughs> You can't trick me. I'm not Hold gonna it. get kidnapped. Little punk. <gasps> Missed. Hey! <sighs> that was close. She tried to shoot a child. I guess I just did a big lap around the block. What do I do? She even had a gun. She tried to shoot me. She really is from the League of Darkness. <laughs> I gotta tell the police. Ah! Don't move. <laughs> You're a bad boy. Am I gonna die? It'll only hurt well, for a moment. You guys will say Tascari to that one. <laughs> I've just implanted you with nano machines. It'll add onto the program inside you. It's not a huge change, but it's something we'll need to fight back. And now we can prepare our weapons. The sentinels. Ow. Oh. Man, that stinks. Uh, didn't I just get shot? Did you find the key? <laughs> okay. I still don't know what's going on here. But getting shot made me remember something. She shot me back when I was a kid, too. You were shot. I'm going to need you to explain the situation. Oh, they care more. I was on the train, and the nurse from my school shot me. <laughs> the nurse there from were my passengers school. Around too. No, wait. That was definitely Fuyusaka. She was all grown up, but I know that was her. Wait a moment. Slow down. You're talking about trains. Where is this happening? It's the place you keep sending me back to. The train platform. And this happened when I chased Fuyusaka onto her train. <sighs> so you're looking for the key on a train platform? Well, yeah. Wait, you mean... You don't even know where you keep sending me back to? Uh-oh. Okay, I see. <laughs> that means the person with the key is somewhere around there. Damn. Why do I get the explanation? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ninji. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Hmm? If you're a gifted membership, make sure to give them big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. <sighs> hey, are you even listening? Uh, <laughs> I'm back. It's happening all over again. <sighs> that was weird. Why'd I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? I'm not seeing things, right? Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like... 
I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was... Oh, I've heard this one before. That League of Darkness lady. She said something weird when she had me at gunpoint. She said I was the one who had this key in the first place. But none of this is ringing a bell. Can't figure this out. Hmm. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. <laughs> I'm already sick of all this shit, but... Hey, Kisaragi. What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Is this... Key. Nah, I mean, hell... Hey, where are you going? Yo. Ogata-kun. What are you doing? Usami-chan. You trying he to looks pick on pissed. Yori now? Please, Kisaragi. Just relax for a sec. What? <laughs> I'm begging you here. <sighs> Fuyusaka. That wasn't some magic trick, right? Um... What do you mean? Anyway, I mean, that kind of thing ain't normal, right? It was some trick, She's yeah? She's so confused. Uh... <laughs> Is this some kind of test? A test? What are you talking about? <sighs> Maybe you should actually explain what you're talking about, man. So, that League of Darkness version of you. I mean... Okay. What's your connection to that black cat suit lady? League of Darkness? What are you talking about? Damn it, I sound like a total loon. <laughs> the train's leaving soon. Let's go, Okinokun. No! Hey, uh, you don't look so good. Seriously, you're being really weird. Gotcha. Great. What? You try and you think I'd run. Maybe they'll huh? give me something else. I think it's about time you gotta chill. How huh? do you think this is no time for the How about we talk this out? How about How about screw no you. Settle this? Kisaragi always in the train always. How the hell can that League of Darkness? She said something. She said, but none of this is. Can't figure this. Hey, you guys got this key thing? What key? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. I, I my teacher to have boof. Hey. We gotta do so. What? Really? Where? I mean, like, they get here. I'm How do man. you? Because I saw. Uh, Shit! How do I? Come on, you're fighting again. Stop that. Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Uh, Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> You'd think that wouldn't get to me anymore. But hey, <laughs> I'm still mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad. <laughs> uh, man, not again. Damn it. The train's already here. I'm gonna go. Hey, hold it. I mean, just hang on a sec. I really need you to stay off that train. Okay, seriously. I don't even know how to describe it. It's... Train's gonna get derailed. It's gonna be a huge Ooh. accident, okay? This is different. Uh, okay, whatever. 
My no! What the hell? I'm being serious here. You can talk shit on me if you want, but believe me, just this once. Please, don't get on that train. <sighs> so, what do I do instead? Let's just get out of the station. <gasps> we gotta get out of here while there's still time. If we can just get outside this place, that's gotta change something. Yay! What the hell? Come on, this way! What's wrong? Sorry, my ankle hurts. <gasps> For the piggyback. Damn. The mecha animations look fucking awesome when they're walking. It's gone. It's time to get on my back. Man, look at them. How are there so many? They destroyed my home. And they'll destroy 1985 too. Can't beat ourselves up over shit we can't change. Maybe there's no way out of this, but we'll never know if we don't run. Anyway, come on. We gotta keep going. Oh, she's running. She ran! Thank God. I was scared that she wasn't gonna be able to run. What? He's a Rocky! Damn it. I'm back here. Back here. Up the we couldn't make it out in time. Uh. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your key. Who the hell are you? If you can do all this crazy time crap, then then save Kisaragi. Tell me Kisaragi. Sorry, my straw. If you want to save her, you need to cooperate with me. I need you to find that key. <laughs> oh, so loud. If you give me its location, then I'll help her. The, the truth? Yes, I promise. Still, even if I was lying, you don't have my choice. All you can do is trust me. So find that key, and I'll see what I can do. Fine. She don't know my time. Of course. <laughs> Mr. Ida. Oh, she doesn't she have bandages. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Uh oh. Will you answer it for me? Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. Oh my god. You said I was special. Oh my god. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived. Oh, God. I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. He's like, oh. Uh... Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I want. The investigation unit is watching us. As it stands, we are already an unofficial organization. 
it is not wise for us to stand out any more than we already do. I have told you this before. I will contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Wait, Mr. Ida. Well, I just... Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Girl! Just thinking about you ah, makes me... no! I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shino no Mekun. <sighs> it is true you are quite exceptional, Shino no Mekun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average, and your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart. Yeah. And great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. He's, he's like, he's like, okay, he, he doesn't like her, but like, he doesn't want to outright say to her that he doesn't like her so that she performs good as a pilot. So he's just like telling her like, I'm not interested in you at all, at all, but he doesn't want to say it directly because he still wants her to be good at her job. Ah! Without you. <laughs> We won't be able to overcome this danger. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Hey. Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? <gasps> what do you want with Ryoko Senpai? Sekigahara Kun. Stop, Akun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai. That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. I smell something. Wait. I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Get up the vibes. Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well. <gasps> yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko Senpai. Ah! That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. game really has a lot of shift dynamics. It's awesome. <laughs> Area B2, so Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7, 23 remain in the seventh wave. Number 14 has secured a path, just a little more. Don't stop, you're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonomekun, pull back. No, I can still do this. Girl. Number 17, assist 
to number 14. Number 17. No response. Miss Morita, ah! something's wrong. I'm not getting a response from Sekigahara either. The system's being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. <laughs> that looks like he's dancing to the music. <laughs> Number 12 and 19 transmitted. <laughs> Number 14 has completed transmission. <laughs> no response from the others. How did this happen? The go. Are almost here. We need to go. We can figure out the reason afterward. I was able to access the autonomous type number eight. We can buy time with that. You two, head for the gate. Ida-kun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. Scene was so long, oh, my switch kids. fell asleep. Because of him. Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida. He stayed on the battlefield to the very end. All so we could escape. A gun? <sighs> this gun wasn't here before. This must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Well, now it makes Remember sense. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. Hell yeah. There's still some ammo left. <gasps> hey. Ryoko san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. What? I'm taking you in. You just and talk to him normally. Away, 
Well, they did say if he was transmitting risk, like a free. virus. Just gives me a reason to put a bullet in your head. God damn. Okay, girl. What to do? There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? Ah! Ah! We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. <gasps> Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it. No, no. Huh? It's empty. The trigger's locked. Oh. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. Damn. <sighs> well, that's awkward. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides. What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <gasps> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. What do the pills do? She says that she takes them because they they Easy. help her think. Take your time. Straight. She can't think unless she takes them. Do you know where you are? Which probably means they're altering her brain in some way. Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Doesn't even. Why is Maybe the I audio? Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Yeah. Do you still have your pills? Audio sounds robotic. Make sure you're taking them. <sighs> this isn't good. You need to take your pills right now. Pills. This should make me feel a little better. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. Oh, now it's gone. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. The coordinates for shifting through time. They're set in 40-year intervals, <laughs> so we can't travel oh. freely. Also. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world, but they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. <gasps> it's him. It has to be. 426. 
the one that set up the gates in the first place. What? So we're stuck here? In the past? Are you all right? Who are you? Hmm. Damn. Miss Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. The source of the disaster that will destroy Tales. the world. Thank you for the super chat. If Thank we you. don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40 year intervals. So he can't travel freely. That's so specific. These pills are hard to swallow. But it's the only way these headaches will go away. Bill's here. And you are? Rinya Goto. A second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> I'm drinking my boba. <laughs> it's a You're pleasure so to be loud. working with you. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. It's too dangerous for you. Please, go with him. This isn't 2065. You will follow my orders. Damn! Gotokun, I leave her to you. Understood. What's the point of destroying the future? Why not just travel back and destroy the past so the future is destroyed? Silly. <laughs> Exactly. We're counting my on you. brain. Yes. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Drink louder? No. It's only a matter of time before Thank you for the super chats. Thank you. I need the list of those who are compatible. They're trying to do that. Of course. Yeah. That includes the people of this era too. I'll see what I can do. But it's like there's no other option. Oh, shit. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything Thank we you. imagined. <sighs> or would you rather I go ask the students one by one? <sighs> Fine. The file is on my desk. It isn't everyone, but it does list those who are compatible at the school. This game is like... Or, not the game, but, or I guess the game, but. The story is like, they keep, every time something bad happens, they go back in time to try to prevent that bad thing from happening, but then something else happens and they go back and try to fix that. And it's like, literally a never ending cycle. Humans with the capacity to pilot the Sentinels. They have already been identified in the future. Welcome to time travel. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. How many times have they gone back in time? I have no idea. <laughs> so this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Many. Four girls, yes. including myself. Wait, only girls? Yusaka and Kisaragi, class 1B. And that's Yakushiji and 1C. Oh. All of the compatible girls are first years. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. I don't have the list, therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. How long have you been 17? A while. Tell me who the compatible boys are. <laughs> I guess in this Certainly. game, they're mostly 16. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. Ooh, read like a book. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. Because he killed? That thing deserves no sympathy. 
426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now he calls himself A Sekigahara. He's an AI? A picture of 426. He calls himself A Sekigahara now. But he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels. The disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. According to the clock on the wall, it is time for lunch. <laughs> they should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. Thank you for the super chat and the analysis tab. Yeah, they do get updated as the game goes on. You need to unlock mystery files for story progression. Yeah, one of the best games ever. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I'm just so invested in playing through the story that I haven't looked at either of the other two tabs yet. Eventually. <laughs> Thank you. Yaki Soba Pan! So crowded. I don't have the list. Renya Goto. Fuyusaka and Yakushid. No, the girls can wait. I need to focus on the boys first. Doesn't look like I can push my way through. The bread they serve here comes from quite a popular bakery. I mean, it's always like this at lunch. Have you already eaten lunch, Shinanome-kun? No, I'm not hungry. So, where are the compatible ones? I don't see any from here. You said they'd be here. Oh, well. Huh? Shinonome Senpai. Good timing. We were just looking for you. Uh, my head. It hurts. Uh oh. This should make me feel a little better. That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. Did something happen? <laughs> what? I have a question for you. Have you seen someone that looks like this? Hmm. No, never seen him. Is that me? I see. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Were you able to get your bread? You need my help with anything? <laughs> About last time, I wasn't able to do anything then. But I want to make up for it. You did try. And I'm grateful to you for that. Where are you going? Would you quit talking to me in front of other people? Why are they... Ah! What is this strange feeling? When I see him talking to another girl, my chest feels so tight. It feels like I'm jealous. No, about him? That's <gasps> ridiculous. Wait, so he actually is? There's no way. Shu Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. Yusaka, Yakushi, all of the compatible girl. The first year classrooms are on the third floor. Now what? Where are you going? Time to find the compatible girls. So, does that mean that he actually is him? Future. Where are the compatible ones? 
I should look at the pictures in their files. Never seen them in the same room. I don't see them. He calls himself A. Sekigahara now. But he's gone into hiding. If I show his picture to the compatible ones, maybe I can figure out who he came into contact with last. Just saw a bunch of them. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Doesn't seem likely. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far? So I can better assist you. Look! It's Goto-senpai! <laughs> oh, it is! Uh, he's so hot! Student council elections are coming up. He's running for president, right? <laughs> really? That's amazing. Smart and handsome. Everything a girl could want. <sighs> My head. It hurts. What happens if I let this go? Like, just don't Why take medicine. Are you staring medicine? at me for? <clears throat> you probably think I look awful. That is true. Damn. Those injured, frail arms. To think they could produce such raw power. It's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Now what? Hey, look at that girl with Goto Senpai. That's Chironami Senpai, right? The one from the rumors? Yeah, her. I guess she got hurt in some accident. But who was she with Goto Senpai? <laughs> You don't think she's... his girlfriend? What? No way! Whoa... Whoa! Oh. Where are the compatible ones? I should look at the pictures in their- It actually doesn't let you go on with it. I don't see them. He just- He calls himself A. Sekigahara. If I show his picture to the comp- Maybe I can figure- Dang. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it. My job is to- Doesn't seem- Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far, so I can better assist you? What are you staring at? You probably think I look awful. That is true. Those injured, frail, to think they could pro It's hard to come. The last battle, I was assist- Now what? And we saw them. Now what? No, none of them. make me feel a little maybe I have to look at it when I'm in front of her Megumi Yakushiji there we go Yakushiji-san can I talk to you what is it have you seen this person before that's 426 isn't it you know him I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. Number 14? <laughs> number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. 
Remember! She just leaves? I know, right? She's like, it's gonna be hard for you to pilot number 14 walks away. This is number 14, the one you piloted. I'm glad we were able to recover it. Even in Shikishima's largest hangar, it was barely able to fit. Transporting it here was quite the challenge as well. But now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three Sentinels after the incident. Only three? Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the Sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. Damn. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels... So unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. Well... What's her deal? Oh, yes. Let me introduce you. This is Megumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. She's one of the compatible from the year 2025. The music Worst is case getting scenario, a little intense. She will be piloting <gasps> Sentinel instead of you. What? Effectively is not possible in your condition. But number 14. It's Mr. Eden chose me for it. Oh. It's my sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. What does if that you're mean? Really that possessive of it. Then why didn't you fight instead of Juro? It doesn't matter. You'll forget this too. Just like everything else. Oh, she <gasps> bitch. Damn. Of course. God damn. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Yes. Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? I see. Damn. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. Yeah, that's all it is. <sighs> Not... We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. 1985. Just tell me when it's fixed. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. There must be some sort of clue. Something that happened in 2064. Medicine. Make me feel a little. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like number fourteen. Number fourteen is my sentinel. Not to throw hands in the hallway. Kisaragi, <laughs> class one B. They were Yakushiji in one C. All of the compatible girls are for. Are you all right? Um, no. <laughs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. Yeah, we gotta go talk to Sami. Where are you going? Stop following me. That's not happening. Dopio is singing in chat. He's cooking. Where are the compatible ones? I can't drink my bobo without it being so. I should look at the pictures in their files. 
So that's what she meant by that. Tell me, Kisaragi. Kisaragi san, can I talk to you? <gasps> Goto senpai! <laughs> Something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. <laughs> do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. What, what sort of women do you like? Well, <laughs> I. What do you do on your days off? I'd rather not say. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. So, what's up? Right. Well. <laughs> Has anyone suspicious tried talking to you recently? Uh, She's so cute. Besides you? Damn. Oh, no. What, what sort of women do you like? Well, Have I... you seen this person before? What do you do on your days off? I'd rather not say. Hey. Oh, my head. Senpai? It oh, hurts. No. What, what sort of women do you like? Well... I... This should make me feel. What do you do on your days off? I Don't run away. Never not say. Why are you doing this? Uh, you need to run. What's going on? What? Did something happen? Run? No, all good. Come on, Mibuko, let's go. Look, where are we going? Run away? Why do I need to run? You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Run from what? Him? Like Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? I guess there's really nothing you can do about it. Do about what? You know, your condition. Well, that was a little rude. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far? So I can better assist you. <sighs> My head. It hurts. <clears throat> this should make me feel a little better. What are you staring? You probably. That is supposed to injured to think they could produce. It's hard to come. You... The last I was assist. Now what? Juro. Uh, look, it's Goto Senpai. He's a Miku. Oh, You're all right. Is. I'm relieved. He's so hot. <sighs> Student Not council again, elections senpai. are coming up. He's what? running for president, right? I've already asked really? you to stop That's making amazing. fun of me. Smart I'm Kurabe. And handsome. Juro Kurabe. Everything a girl could want. Goto Senpai. A background. Apologies, Kurabe. You can go ahead. Kurabe? But he's Izumi-kun. I don't understand. I bet Renya Goto knows something about this. Jiro Kurabe? Explain. You have the wrong person. That's not possible. <laughs> I wouldn't mistake he's him for someone else. He's just gonna brush it under the rug like that? Girl, you're crazy. That's the wrong guy. Damn it, just tell me. Juro Izumi doesn't exist anymore. He's Juro Just Kurabe now. Straight up gaslighting her. His mind could not withstand the battle. He had to be turned into someone else. There is no chance of recovery. My head Still time. She has to take them this often? This feel... That's like so bad. He has the same symptoms as I do.
location on the left. The drone spotted them 20 minutes ago. Going into that building. Can you not find them? The drone? <laughs> BJ? Cute. The drone's found her. Bring her in. Is he just gonna like... Oh. I thought he was gonna grab her. <laughs> like with the arm, just through the window, like, come here, King Kong. We finally meet. You're Ryoko Shinonome san, right? Who are you? I'm Juro Izumi, <laughs> and I need your help. We're going to save the world with that robot. Oh, awesome. Sure. <laughs> Holy slamming doors. Oh my god. My brother needs to learn. Easy. Take your time. <laughs> to take a hint. <laughs> Do you know where you are? I swear, he always slams doors gone. every day. He has the same symptoms as I do. <laughs> Are you all right? <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. I mean, nothing will change if I talk to her, right? Answer the question. What? 19. Oh, okay. I know what you're going to I see. I just forgot. Yeah. Where are you going? Good question. Stop following me. That's not happening. I mean, Yuri will be here this time. Nope. He's Ragi san. Can I talk to you? Yeah. <laughs> do you like sweet? Oh, no. What, what sort so, of women do you like? What's up? Right. Well, has anyone suspected? Uh, beside. Do you like these for Oh, no. no. Did what? you just what tell me to do like? Well, shh. I. Who do you do on our days off? Go on, I'd did you? Rather not say. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh! But I took my pills. Oh. Senpai, are you all right? This isn't right. I just took some. Wait there. Wait. Wait, I ran past something. Shil Amiguchi. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. But it doesn't look like right now is a good time. No, it's you a great really time. You don't look so good, you know. Your face is all red, too. Maybe you have a fever? <laughs> Just leave me alone. This isn't what I just took some. Shinonomi-senpai? What is this feeling? She don't know. What is this? I get it. This boy, his eyes, the way <gasps> he has, It's just like Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida. I remember now about Mr. Ida. When I was shifted to this era. So it is him?
I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. One year ago. Ryoko Shinonomi. Female. Teenager. No matches in the registry, no prints on file. According to the written statement, reports repeated falsehoods, possibly delusional. Psychiatric evaluation necessary. Damn. So what? You're gonna get rid of me by claiming I have a mental disorder? What about my sentinel? How are you going to explain that? We're still investigating. How'd you get something that large into the city? You'd think someone would have seen it. Time travel! What even is that thing? It's a weapon. Created to fight Kaiju. Hmm. He's like, Kaiju? What? <laughs> the ones you said appeared in 2100? They're mentioned in the statement as well. <sighs> 2104. <laughs> what was that? They first appeared in the year 2104. <sighs> so, if you're from 2104... Actually. What are you doing here? I came from the year 2064. <laughs> I've told you this already. I don't know why, but when I woke up, I was here. Your story is just too unbelievable. <sighs> My apologies, but all investigations regarding this case will cease immediately. And you are? He doesn't look like him, though. Mr. Ida! Tetsuya Ida, advisor to the Special Investigations Unit. You will throw out all statements and records and hand over this witness to us. Damn. Come with me. Mr. Ida! I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry for not coming to get you sooner. Special investigations. So Girl. it was true. An intelligence agency created from private contractors. But does it come with actual authority? Orders from the Director General of the Defense Agency. Please, look them over. These are confidential matters relating to national security. Therefore, it needs to be kept a secret within the police as well. Monitoring public safety also falls under our jurisdiction. <laughs> You're all right now. Let's go. Yes, sir. What's with the zoom? You okay? You're such a good guy! You should probably take it easy. At least until the nurse comes back. Th thanks. The nurse's office was left wide open, so I'm sure she'll be back soon. I was saved by Mr. Ida. Is he really alive? And Shu Amiguchi. Why do I remember when I look at him? This strange feeling. It makes me so anxious. I don't even know what it means. I just... I feel like I'm forgetting something important. What? No! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Easy, take your time. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Yes, yes. Izumi kun. He has the. Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I. forget something that important? Are you alright? About Mr. Ida. Where is he? 
He's been missing ever since the battle. You don't remember? Hmm. Answer the question. Nine, I know what you're. I see. I just forgot to. Hmm. <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. Where are you going? I guess to the third me. floor. That's not happening. Hmm. He's Ragi son. Can I talk to you? <gasps> Is there something I can Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. Well. Oh, shit. Oh. I. What are you doing with the rest? Did you just. I'd rather not oh, say. Go on. Do you like sweets? Maybe pie? the other way? the last of them i need to get more pills before it gets worse the nurse's office should have some gotta talk to him real quick though so cold so sweet i can't get enough <laughs> what seems to be the I'm matter out of pills. Lady? i need to get more if there's something troubling you i can try to help if you'd like <laughs> no thanks uh, What's I suppose the matter, it's young to be lady? Expected, looking like this. <laughs> I don't need a drink. I can take my pills without it. I'm not a child anymore. Girl! I don't need it. I can take my. I'm not a. Ch I'm not a child either, but I need a drink. Yori's sleeping. Good. Norimura's not here. Now, where are those pills? I'm out of... I need to get... They were around here last time. Where are they? There's a student asleep in here. This girl, she looks familiar. Hmm? Hmm? Yori Fuyusaka. She's one of the compatible. Check pillow. There's something under the pillow. An ampoule. This must be the medicine she was given. You're gonna take it? Girl, no! Fuyusaka Yakushi. All of the compatible. The label says NM0206. So she injected you with nano machines. What is Morimura thinking? Why give Yori Fuyusaka nano machines? Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Nano machines. Yori Fuyusaka, nano machines anchored. 
Memory transplant attempt number seven. What? Memory transplant? It can't be. Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> Memory separation. Progressing. Third phase. As with Jiro Izumi. Administering personality <gasps> synthesis. Oh, oh shit! Where's Gojo-kun? I ditched them. You didn't have permission to read those. What does this all mean? It's a necessary measure. Well, did you find the culprit? Uh, what are you planning? You're in even worse condition than I thought. Uh, you need to take your pills. I don't have any more. Answer me. What are you doing? To Yori Fukusaka. My head. What are you doing? Maybe it's time. Shinonome-san, how are you feeling? Not good. How much can you remember? <sighs> As I suspected, you're starting to disappear. What? Huh? What? Sure. More. <laughs> yeah. What did you mean? Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Damn. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience, but don't worry. Are you all right? No. Where are you going? Stop following me. That's not happening. <laughs> so this time... We go to the staircase again. Okay. He's Ragi-san. Can I talk? <gasps> Is there something? Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. Oh, what sort Did of you just do you like? Shh. Well, go to go on. I. Bye. What do you do in your days off? I. The cafeteria. Say. Do you like? Oh right. Then we'll see him on our way here. <sighs> but I took. My pills. I ran past something. Senpai, are you alright? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. <gasps> it's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi? I don't know you. <gasps> Leave me alone. Yo! Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. Oh. See? Better now. <sighs> Didn't take medicine this time, at least. Bye! <laughs> I guess they're done selling. <laughs> My head, it hurts. Girl, 
we just took some. It's empty. That was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. The nurse's office should have some. Very. I, I need to get more. Kisaragi san. Why are you still chasing after Sekigahara? Oh, right. You might not know, but. But you have to capture him to fix the Sentinels. <laughs> and he's 426. That right? You knew? Yeah, because you flippin' told me. I don't remember that. Uh, Is Mara doing something to you? Yeah, tell her! You don't remember being in the ruined city together? A ruined city. Think harder. Use your brain! Shinonome! Sekigahara! Damn it. Irritating luck. In the science room? Doesn't seem possible to force a connection. Oh shit! Oh! <gasps> Ryoko san. Just like I thought. Damn! Oh, Grabs the gun? There's nowhere left to run, 426. I'm 426? Who did you hear that from? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eisaki Gahara. The program it's that the infected same the Sentinels. Conversation, but in a different it was location. With 426's ID. <sighs> Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. <sighs> no! I mean, this is different. Don't move. The shift radius is off. I haven't set the input, but the shift's still being executed. Get back. Hey! I won't let you mess things up again. Ryoko-san, you need to stay out of this. No! Damn it. We shifted. And to the wrong place, too. Wait, what? And now there's others involved. What? Not good. My location's going to be tracked. I need to delete the gate's logs. All these kids... because of him. There's just more and more being added time each time! Tell me Kisaragi. One of the compatible. This just wasn't your day. She doesn't have any pills left either. <laughs> oh. Ryoko san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. Because of you, he's. You. Uh... You're still going on about Ida? <laughs> I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it! The trigger's locked. It's my gun! I'm the registered bitch. user. It won't shoot me. Uh, I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? You've got none left! Empty, like I thought. Oh! Your condition's gotten worse. How long has it been since you've taken them? Guess I don't have much choice. I've got those pills too. <gasps> Go on. Take them. No way! I don't know what you've been told, but I'm not the one who infected the Sentinels. 
I'm not 426, Ryoko-san. We never lived too far apart. Ever since we were kids. Wherever he went, I followed. My big sister, Ryoko. What? Don't you remember? There's siblings? Please. That's how me. much she's forgotten? This hideout isn't safe anymore. You need to take the ones outside and go back. Understand? I need to get out of here. He's not 426. Not that kind of big sister. Oh. Whose fault is it? What's going on? I don't understand. Wait. I need to know. Take medicine! Busami-chan, we have an emergency! Miwa-chan. I found someone else back there! Shinonome-senpai? time without fighting yeah it's been like 10 hours and we haven't fought once <laughs> ouch my back it felt like I was inside a washing machine that freaking inspection hatch definitely don't recommend my butt so many times. <laughs> how in the... How am I supposed to get down from here? Jump! Companion ladder on the front. Oh, right. The thing I used to get up here in the first place. Scary. Just the thought of slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. Cute, not to know. BJ, are we? We made it back, right? It is 1985. A robot as big as this. I can't believe it's capable of time travel. Alien technology sure doesn't disappoint. Wait, is, is Mira not in there? Wait, where's Mira-kun? She is already gone. You mean he's somewhere out in the city right now? That's not good. So they went together? What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. My room gets raided by either way. As for the track, if I put him in my... One of them has a different... His name is B. He's an alien that came from... His mission was to protect... Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. 
It's even capable of time travel. Oh, that's the change. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Awesome. Crisis averted. She's so silly. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Huh. Oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. Um, yeah. I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? Yeah, okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? Just we leave it. Right, first things first. Let's get you in the bag. Yeah, just leave a huge robot there. It's all good. Seriously? Again? Doesn't like to be kept inside of the locker. I'm sorry I have to lock you up, BJ. But those men in black are still wandering around. Let's go to the gate. No! Okay. We need to get out of here before someone sees us. Girl, why? I've searched for quite a while, but I couldn't find Miura Kun anywhere. I bet he got captured by the men in black. And it's all because of me. She just got stuck 40 years into the past and almost wasn't able to go home. And then BJ's like, let's go to the gate. And she's like, okay, why? Mm -hmm. My notebook's not in here. Oh yeah, because Yuki took it. <laughs> My research notebook on aliens. Aliens. Where did I put it again? <laughs> I was writing in it during class today. Oh yeah. I took it to the audio-visual room. Oh. Crap. I totally left it there, didn't How I? How could you? Oh, I don't think anyone would believe you either way. If BJ is... I'll just hide him in my crisis. It has all sorts of records on alien BJ, too. It'd be a disaster if someone saw it. Oh. Well... I guess we're going to the audio-visual room. BJ was such a good vibe, I know. Oh god. A man in black. I know how to be sneaky, don't worry. bad if someone saw my notes. I gotta get my notebook back. No matter what. Well, I thought I was gonna get caught there for a second, but we were okay. Aw, uh, yeah. Got it. Oh, All right, yeah. Minami. Listen up. All top secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put him somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on him. <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> right. You got it, boss. No. Not the yeah, turning yeah. left and right yeah. and talking yeah. to herself. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> to the gate, right? No. I detected an unfamiliar signal. In the bathroom. It's coming this way. What is it? Unable to identify. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Leave this area now. What? Is it Kisaragi? Oh. You saw me? No. <gasps> ah! Whoa, what the heck? You almost hit me. Man. Good thing I'm on the track team. She's a running track star. Oh my gosh, she hides in the bathroom? Girl, you should just What's leave the building. On? Why is you saw me? That is not Tony Kisaragi. 
What? So she's an imposter? No. It's an android created in her likeness. Dun, 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 oh, I get it. Those evil aliens are after you. <laughs> so they made a robot to track you down. <laughs> Where are we now? I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. <laughs> yeah! There's nowhere to run. Exactly! Not helping. It's too late. It's too late. Well, I guess we gotta hide in a stall. <laughs> She's right there. What do we do? I'm gonna say hide in this stall. This stall. I've gotta hide. <laughs> it's red. It's occupied. Well, well. Hey, it's red. It's Please occupado. Don't for us. Just do as I say and come out quietly. There's two more free. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? <gasps> I thought number 17 was gone. What? Iba. The signal led me here. <sighs> now that I found 426. Oh! I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. Whoa. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. You're awfully dramatic for a machine. <gasps> And I'm awfully strong, too. Damn! Oh, shit! Well, his body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. <laughs> That's no, it's just... Vibin! Holding your breath! I expected it, knowing who you were. I guess it's in your heart. It's just a machine. Ah! You're a monster yourself. No different from me. Whatever. Makes it all easier. <laughs> what the heck just happened? It seems quiet now. Damn. Holy crap. What a mess. Ah! Time to leave. Psych. Hey. Yeah. is a robot. It looks just like Usami. She knows what her from the past. Ah! And this. Did you do all this? Matthew, stay back. Hey, don't jump out like that. <laughs> She's also an android. Created in Kamau Karabe's image. She's Whoa. a robot too. I'm the one who called her here. However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. So what? Like independence? Stay back, Natrio. <sighs> I didn't expect you to be here too, Mirakuni. You're. I see. What? You switched bodies. Oh, shit! Oh! BJ! BJ? Say something! Don't worry. He's not broken. What? What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? 
Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. <coughs> I've come for you, Natsu no Minami. What? Those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander. And it's you. What? So, starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. Saw who saw me. Uh, man, I can't really remember what happened here. No! We should go before anyone else shows up. Yeah, you're right. Come on. They both don't remember. Can't even interact with the glasses. Ow. My cheek kind of stings. What? They don't even. They're just gonna pretend that the bathroom isn't a little insane right now? They're just okay with the fact that the bathroom is exploded? What's going on? She's like, oh yeah, I came to get my notebook. Cool. <coughs> yep. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? To mouse on? Small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? What if they implanted something in me? Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. Was all just the troll, don't worry? At least for now, I told Miura-kun he should stay yeah. at Juro-kun's house. After all, I'm the one who dragged him into this. <laughs> I need to take responsibility. I mean, not in a weird way. Oh, girl. Wait. How are you here, Tamao-san? This place isn't ideal. I'd be found far oh, too girl. soon. girl. Hmm. Maybe Tamao-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <sighs> Who is this? Uh, my Nakama. Does she want to join the team? Oh, um, well... Wait, don't tell me. You turned in your sign-up form but never came, huh? It's Aiba-san, right? Erika Aiba? Uh. What? So, Aiba-san, you're in Class 1D? Right next to Minami-san in Class 1C. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely, so can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. Girl! Could there really have been someone like this just next door? Huh. Erika... Aiba... Class 1D... Next door. Hmm. What the hell? Well... Identity secured, I guess. My little dishwasher on the ground here. She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. 
I should go tell the coach. BJ, did she find you? She? The girl that was just here. I was on. Nobody was here. Huh? <sighs> Let's go to the gate. Oh. You said that he couldn't I'm sense almost her done anymore. with practice. We'll go there after. Before. Sound good? Now to the gate. Well. Now to the Let's go. I didn't see any men in black outside. Maybe we can sneak out. Well, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. You know, you are in 426. Maybe I am. <laughs> Let's go to the gate. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And what about it? Huh? Hmm? Are you going home, Natsuno? <laughs> you got me. Please don't tell Senpai. Our planet is in danger. Hmm? There isn't a second to spare. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so glad she's weird. It lets her say whatever she wants and get away with it. <laughs> okay, we're here. Gate time. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about sector one? Sector one has no sent. I see. Is it just sector five? Sector two looks suspicious. Sector two looks. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Oh. 1945. We found a sentinel there, but not the one we're looking for. Travel to Sector 5 is possible, but there is no signal from number 17. So we're going to number 2. Sector 2 looks suspicious. Sector 2 looks... Yeah, but we didn't get to... Let's go there again and do a proper search. Access code approved. Girl! How are you so up for this? If it was me, I would not be down. How is she like, yeah, let's go back. Or we almost died. So we can look around better. <laughs> I don't see any tripods. But we shouldn't let our guard down. She has to save the world. Okay. How should we do this? You're right. You'll wait here. What? Huh? You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. You're gonna then what was the point of her coming? Time required to search the path is twenty-seven minutes. Oh, come on! We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? It's not often I get to time travel. <gasps> I certainly won't waste it waiting. Hey. <laughs> it's not often I get to time Girl. travel. I certainly won't waste it waiting. Get quick. Just gonna peek around a bit. Ooh, that's what they all say. And then it doesn't, it's not quick at all. Actually, they die. What do we got here? Oh, girl. I saw something light up. That's bad! Ah! 
No way, that's the sentinel that they're looking for. Is that a sentinel? <laughs> Look who found it first. That's what you get for leaving me behind. Oh my god. Okay. I'm sure I can save him. Oh my god. Oh, where is it? Girl. Is this it? This light bulb thing. I mean, I think it's this. <laughs> it definitely looks like a brain. <laughs> what? There's some letters on this. Shikishima. <gasps> Shikishima Robotics? Wait, as in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. PJ's not an alien. <laughs> He's, a robot. He's a robot made in Japan. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. True. She's thinking. Oh, she's thinking. What is she thinking about? What is going on inside of that brain? Sound. <gasps> Wait. Not to know. I have been looking for you. <laughs> BJ! But wait, what I saw earlier. It was a different robot? <laughs> wait a minute. Now. You found a sentinel. Sentinel number eight. A remote control type. This is not Sentinel number 17. BJ, is this your future? Are we about to look at your body? Mm. Or is there many? Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. What the hell? Isn't that right? Yeah, I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Uh, does that mean the tripods too? <laughs> Four-legged autonomous cranes from Shikishima Industries. High quad 150B. No way. Oh, They're shit. heavy machinery robots for the development of Mars. But why? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? Dot, dot, dot. They are not. What? This place is not Earth. Not Earth? What? It is a speculation. A lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... <laughs> what? What? The basis for my speculation is this log. Huh? That's you! Alright, go on. And Nancy! There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? What? We're planning for six million. That's so small. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just listen to my mother's explanation, it is not necessary. 
This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, I am the one in charge. The research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. <gasps> you can't! Ogata-san, please! This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. What? A communication log between Natsuno Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Renji Ogata. Ogata-kun? After this log, the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. Yeah. We are further into the future than when the log took place. Natsuno, do you understand? It is possible. You are the alien they created. Oh my god! <sighs> Damn! Ah! Oh, that's... Definitely a bomb to drop on someone. What the hell? Oh no. Oh yes! <laughs> Let's fucking go! suits here positive Jiro might open after this too I know because I have to get 30% of nine pro tags I don't know how many we've got now though I did see them <laughs> earlier in the morning but I haven't seen them at all this afternoon do you think they left I seriously hope so Shihiro Morimura's objective, one with great implications, especially for those from another world, like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. But that must be it. That must be why I killed her. Oh, my brain. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me. And I have yet to give her an answer. What was I going to do? If a random stranger like me is seen on campus, will that be a problem? Oh, I don't know. Will it? <sighs> but you shouldn't worry, especially with that uniform. It may be from the future, but it's still a Sakura High uniform. I mean... So you don't have to feel like a stranger. Yeah, but it looks a little different. So tell me, what's Sakura High like in the future? In the future? Well, there should be a new building up and running. Should be? Yes, you'll see it for yourself someday. Uh, no fear. Is anyone just allowed to enter the nurse's office? Well, there's no teacher there, so it's closed right now. <sighs> Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Oh, it's you. Yori, what's up? Hey, Usami-chan. What are you doing here? Well, he wanted to check out the school. So I'm just showing him around. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> yep. Anyway, we better get going. All right. See you later. Hmm. What? Let me be. Uh. What's happening? That had to be her. 
The girl who delivered the message from myself. Yeah. <sighs> What? Nothing. Is something wrong? Uh, no, I'm fine. Must have been my imagination. Now we go inside. The door's open. Hmm. I managed to borrow the key to the nurse's office. And all I had to do was lie to the teacher. <laughs> Please, my classmate skinned her knee. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? Well, um. It's just the two of us. It, it's just the two of us in here together. <laughs> all alone. He's like, yeah, it is. Walks away. <laughs> Student medical records. Nothing else really stands out here. Are you looking for something, Akun? It must be really important. Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk. And it's Damn. probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay, I'll make up another excuse. Then I might be able to get my hands on it. Damn! Girl! The label's a bit different, but it lists the same medication. Oral NM, C0204. Just like the bottle I picked up before. I feel like she's gonna walk in here at any moment. Let's take a look at these student medical records. Ryoko Shinonome. Looks like she was given C0204. Morimura. She's been administering this drug to these students. Ryoko Shinonome. There are more. Shu Amiguchi and Juro Izumi. Huh? That was quick. So, did you manage to find the key? Uh. Well, that's not who I expected. The nurse's office is closed. Come back when. You don't even go here. <gasps> You better start talking. <laughs> Those men that are after me, are you working with them? This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? <laughs> oh, awkward. Sekigahara, wait! Don't shoot! You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? Hey, what? Megumi! I only followed you out of sheer curiosity, but what in the world just happened with Megumi? Not a thing. And you're wandering around by yourself? Where's Iori? <sighs> What's your problem? Well, clearly I'm just a hopeless busybody. <sighs> I'm going to look for Megumi. What the hell? That girl with the braids. I know I've seen her somewhere. But where? Damn it. Come on, think. Is he thinking about... That's right. She's... The other version of her? The android? The lights are still on. 
Maybe this place isn't entirely abandoned. Ah! This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. This all looks like research data. Ah, here we go. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. So, this is a Shikishima facility. Current year is... 2104? I've shifted 40 years into the future. That one looks like it's about to get right up. Used for? On the right there. Uh, what the hell? This one on the right looks like it's about to get right headaches. up. You know what I mean? Could it be from oh! Oh! This looks bad. Another one? Bye. <laughs> oh. I'm actually the supposed to do on. something? Shit. <laughs> An android. Is that what this place? <clears throat> what the? I keep getting. Could it be from. <clears throat> this looks bad. Another one? To die, you should stop snooping around. Oh, that's why her leg was bandaged. The surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> I inspected the sentinel that was transmitted underground. That's How much do you understand about the current situation? Gonna go too. I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. I have no idea what happened. Then allow me to fill you in. I'll start from the end. The Sentinel, or you rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD426. <gasps> what? Code DD4... What is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nanomachines in your body, to be specific. The nanomachines. Its main function is to sever a portion of the nanomachine. The part that's cut is physically connected to the brain. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. <sighs> you can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. Is that why so I've been getting these what headaches? Happened to Izumi? I've had them ever since I got here. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nano machines is restricted. No, no, my son. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. So sudden. I'm not entirely sure I can believe her, but I do keep getting these headaches, and I definitely don't want to become an empty husk. How long? How long do I have before I become a husk? It depends on the intensity of the infection, or how much time you spend inside the infected sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. Oh! To spread to your entire body, it'll take about a month. So... That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few you? days. A few days? I may not be able that to remove it. the sentinel was infected and then he fought in it for two hours. And then he immediately went... 
Unfortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? Yeah. First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. It's nothing complicated. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nano machines can use it. Me. Are you gonna tell me who you are? <sighs> I have to ask. What's a young girl like you doing in this place by yourself? You not see her leg? <sighs> oh. I see. You see it now. The androids here are wrapped <laughs> in a human-like skin. Just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? We should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. What? So, how does my offer sound to you? I don't really have a choice. Nope. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. He did. Spoiler. <laughs> uh, he did. Okay, wait. It's bathroom break time again. Everybody! Pee!
annoys you how little I'm using analysis? Too bad. <laughs> I'm invested, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a one-track brain! <coughs> I can't read all of this. Oh my god, there's so much. There's so much writing. Oh my god. How many people have played this game before? I have I me. We have so many. <coughs> I thought this game was older. I don't know why, but I thought it came out not as recently as it did. Like I thought it came out in like 2015 or something. That's what I mean by older. I didn't know that it came out just like 2019. Twenty twenty in the West. Oh, I see. Yeah, I thought it took or no, I thought the game just came out like a like a while ago. I don't know why, but no, it's a newer game. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought it was older. Not older. Wait, the analysis is only at only 38% of the story? <laughs> okay, wait, were the people who have played this game? So for this game, I just I can't show I can't show the final cutscene. It says like um, after the final battle, the final cutscene, like I can't show that. Is it very Can you can you tell? Can you tell what that is? Like, will it be obvious? I'm getting kind of scared because there's a lot of different parts. You will know. Okay. Thank you! We'll remind you. Yeah. Thank you! It's very obvious. Thank you. It's really obvious and really long. Okay. I was just worried because there's like so many components. <laughs> okay thank you thank you thank you for letting me know We got you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I was worried because I was like, oh my god, there's like so many different components. What if they get in the Sentinels? Wait, what if when they get into the Sentinels, it's like plugging a USB? Mess messing up their memory, never played this game, my brain hurts. I have no idea. My brain is really small. <laughs> I 
my brain is just too small for this. I think even with analysis, I wouldn't understand. Well, I think I get the gist of it. I'm surprised though that the first part, is this an order? Number one, I guess it's gotta be. I'm just surprised. Wait, no. <gasps> no, it would make sense that this is the first part because they're reconstructing the house. Oh my god, they really are on... They really are not on Earth! They're reconstructing the house! Because... Mirada's like, yeah, you got it. I can make that house for you. The final countdown. What? Okay. We did to tell you you were further than when those logs are recorded. I can't tell if the years in the game are like actually the right years or if they're just trying to be a little silly with it. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I just can't tell if the years that are written in the game are like the actual years that they're in or if the game is just trying to gaslight me into thinking. Or if the year is like... Hmm. <laughs> Smiley. How close am I to? <laughs> I didn't think. Well, guys, are we ever gonna fight? <sighs> am I ever gonna get to the battling section of this game? <laughs> no. The fights have story too? Okay. <laughs> you can do a lot of story before you have to. There's a battle section. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Yes, there is. The lighting is so pretty. <sighs> Police. Just an ordinary cop. Grandma. Don't go in there. Someone's in there right now. I'll have to wait. I should stay near the station where it's crowded. Now, I should sort out my thoughts. Oh, okay. A girl with red glasses and braids. She created NMC0204. The same pills I take. I saw her at the school. But what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. DD-426. Likely the root Don't of my memory loss. Drop site. But who would create such a thing? And why? Come in. Oh. Are you there? Uh... Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. The label uh, matches the Stop! One on the I'm thinking I right now! Oral NM. C0204. Hey, I'm thinking right now. Ryoko Shinonome. Let's see. Attempting to delay nanomachine separation in the brain. Applying memory link enhancement. C0204. And C22. So there are two types of pills then. <laughs> C0204 is the same one I have. It's been over a week since she last Don't received a dose. I wonder how she's doing. Without the pills, 
Her memory must also be suffering. I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. Yeah, I can. Shu Amiguchi. He was administered NM A8076. Looks like a different kind of nanomachine medication. Seems it was only Don't administered once. All it says is 20% transplant rate. I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. Juro Izumi. He's receiving two types of treatment. NM A8075 and B01. He received four doses of A8075. Then switched to B01 from the fifth dose on. And there's a scribbled note here. B01 was synthesized by Tamao Kurabe. What? Shihiro Morimura's objective. One with great implications. Especially for those from another world. Damn. Like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. And that must be it. That I must be why I killed me, her. Stop! She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her, and I have yet. What was I going? The note says 44th. What could it mean? Phone number. There's an M. Maybe it's a car key. The key. Now that I think about it, this is the same gun that Andrew was using. The one from the future. Hey, you! Oh, shit! What were you just told? <laughs> Show me right now. Uh. Where the hell do you think you're going? Now do what I say and empty your pockets. I know this is some kind of toy gun. Yeah. I'm taking you in for further questioning. Yeah. Pick up. Damn it. Freeze. Damn. Looks like I managed I to lose that cop. Up. I should have just picked up. It's basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program. Except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories. Or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. The medical records of three Sakura High School students. Shu Amiguchi, Juro Izumi, and Ryoko Shinonome. They've all been administered a pill called NM. Nano machine. A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. <laughs> Unless? An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. All that running. And I end up back here. Yep, where you woke up. Her body's gone. Morimura's death hasn't been made public yet. Those black suits must have disposed of the body. Okay. Let's say I did kill her. At that point, they were already coming after me. Did I lure Morimura out here? It just doesn't add up. I managed to find some good clues here before, but I'm still not sure what some of them mean. The key. This key I had on me. It has some kind of emblem on it. Was I driving a car? Oh, the emblem appears to be a button. What? How did you... This is the note Morimura had in her possession. How did you not I don't understand realize of until numbers. now? Are they even related? This key I had, it has some kind of... Was I driving a... Oh, the emblem appeared... Well, I pressed it. No nearby car made a sound, though. Maybe it's somewhere further away. Can I go in here? <sighs> what the hell? How in the world did this motorcycle get here? Did it come when I pressed the button on the key? Voice authentication verified. A key is required to unlock this vehicle. It's voice activated too? Is this... 
A self-driving motorcycle? Hey. A key is required to <laughs> unlock this vehicle. Hey. I have a key. Vehicle unlocked. You may issue commands using your voice. Please set your next destination. Hey. Who do you belong to? Registered drivers of the Shikishima SXR and R. A. Sekigahara and Chihiro Morimura. <gasps> Me and Morimura. Wait, what? Morimura's first name is Chihiro, but that's also the name of Miura's sister. What? It looks like I've used this motorcycle before. Then it must know where I've taken it. And I'm when guessing you have a Yuri travel log, right? Was in the Can car. I mean, in the train. She was Chihiro, and then her, and then. Oh God! Everything is going crazy. Looks like I've taken this thing all around the city. But there are only two places I've visited multiple times. Aside from Sakura High. It's just this one other spot. Set this location as your destination? Yes. Yeah. Let's hit the road. That's so cool. Self-driving? Hey. Did I... leave anything with you? Invalid request. Please specify. I want to know if I left behind any messages. Two logs found from A. Sekigahara. Oh, shit. Seriously? Begin playback? Yeah. Show me. So, did you find it? My... Well, your intuition was right. The thing that you told him to I'm find. this message as a precaution. Just in case I lose my memory sooner than I expect. You've still got work to do if you want to escape this world. Acquired the data logs from 2188. One more thing, and this takes priority over all else. You can't let Chihiro Morimura execute Operation Aegis. She holds a position as a nurse at Sakura High School, but it's all under false pretenses. Stop her at all costs. My headaches are getting worse. I'm running out of time. In any case, some interesting developments have come up. I've confirmed that Iori Fuyusaka was able to use the gate. I checked the log she left behind. The ID she used was Morimura's biometric ID. <gasps> Iori Fuyusaka is Chihiro Morimura. Wow, I was just talking Knowing about this, that. Do I still try to stop Operation Aegis? That's the real question. Well, the answer's obvious, isn't it? Uh, Playback yes. <sighs> Fuyusaka is Morimura? How is that possible? And what did I decide to do? <sighs> well, you... You shot her. Well, maybe. We don't know if you shot her. We're just assuming. So this is the place. Now what am I gonna find here? Oh, this is where Okino is. Yakisoba pond. Locked. This factory has to be what I'm here for. Actually, yakisoba pan. Well, look who we have here. Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? Something wrong? No, nothing. Uh, let me guess. 
You finally lost your memories, right? How, Damn. How did you know? Just by the way you're acting. Kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. Do you know what I was trying to do here? That's odd. Okay, no. You're in my way. <laughs> He's been out of the picture? Um, I think it's mostly... Well, he has been out of the picture mostly because I think his story is like... Defeat, like... A level one? I swear, it says to unlock his story, it's like... Defeat level one in destruction. And I haven't done that because I've just been reading everyone else's stories. So he hasn't been out of the picture. It's my fault. <laughs> and you are? Hmm. It didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. You recognize me, don't you? No. I don't. That can't be. Oh. Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. Damn. Okay. Wait. Oh, when I drink my tapioca. This can't be. I'm drinking the tea for the tea. In here, boba. Sis, we can hear the straw. I'm sorry. Pills the android gave me in the underground <laughs> facility in 2104. They slow the effects of DD-426. I like ripped open the top so you can't hear it A anymore. third generation model. Sentinel number 19. You can if I try really hard. So this is where it was transmitted. Is this a hangar for Sentinels? want to hear it? Stop. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Awfully persistent, aren't you? Fine. You got me. <laughs> no! The boba is... The boba is my enemy. I can't even drink this shit without it sounding so nasty. I have one more. There's one left. Okay, I'm done. It's empty. How many sentinels are there? Uh, 13? I know it's you, Okino. Maybe? Even in this outfit, you managed to catch me. Have you been in hiding ever since the incident? Just laying low in Sector 5? <laughs> Quite a bit. Tell me, Sekigahara kun, why were you searching for me? It's basically the nano machine, except if the infected will ultimately lose their memories, it's likely the cause of my memory loss. I need to stop the effects of DD 426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? Uh, you? No. Oh. Right. This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you, A. Sekigahara. Yeah. You were on the battlefield too. Yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? From the future! What are you taking? <sighs> These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. What? 
It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode, <gasps> which resulted in the loss of my memories. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. What? That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines. And I was able to create a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. Smart people. Let me get this straight. You're a program that's simulating Okino? Initially, yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain, I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. But you're still not the same. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Whether we retain our memories or not, we're never the same as our past selves. Damn. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. What? And now that you've caught me, maybe it's time I gave up. Oh, perfect timing. Huh? Hijiyama kun, over here! <laughs> no way! Huh? No way! Kiriko san! What's going on? <laughs> that man! No way! Hey, who the hell are you? Okay, you know, you How'd piece you get shit. in here? Please, make him go away. <laughs> Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! He's so silly. This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino! Runs away. Okino. Remember now? Tsukasa Okino. Yes. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. <sighs> Let's try this again. Okino, do you really have to stand so close to him? <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. Damn! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now concentrate, Asekigahara. Try to remember why you kept coming <laughs> back here. He knows. <laughs> He knows what he's doing to him. How are you feeling? <laughs> My head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? We're ready to go. Oh. There was one thing I wanted to ask you. You seemed very reluctant to go through with this at first. But now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't <laughs> want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. Damn. I'll be sure to preserve that memory for you. <laughs> They're so Walk ruthless to each other. Sure. First, I'll Thank input a memory chat. extraction Thank you. Thank you. code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, like though, basement. can't be saved. Then a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. 
I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work yeah, together with but your own brain. He doesn't want that. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. The relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision making. I just... I hate myself. I really don't need a simulated personality. No. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nano machines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories. Though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. Oh no. I'll only be able to map roughly 30% of the region per scan. So you'll have to make multiple trips. Oh. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. Sit down. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Try listing any words starting with A that come to mind. As you say each word, Apple. imagine the object in your head. Well, shit. A. Apple. Asphalt. Anchor. Guys. <laughs> Understood. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. How come now the policeman is in here? <laughs> BD426. Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Come in. Are you there? Oh, I'm there this time. Promise. Don't be a fool. She seems to have a particular fondness. It appears she can... F and I have yet to... What was I going to... Shihiro Morimura is especially for those from another world. If Operation will never be, that must that must be why I killed. Sorry. <laughs> a girl with red she created, and I saw her at this. But what business besides? I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. I can't. Just give me a second. The note says four for What could it mean? Pick up. <laughs> is it just? Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. The label matches the oral and. I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. Don't be a fool. Hey. What do you want? It seems you found your way onto school grounds. Unless you want to get caught, you shouldn't wander about. What business did you have there? I wanted to learn more about the person I killed. Forgive me. I should have been transparent from the start. Did you see anyone else there? Did anyone see you? Yes. No. I trust you. Partners don't lie to each other, after all. Oof! Partners? Us? 
You and I are working together to save everyone. Everyone? Even the one I murdered? Damn. That was a necessary action to prevent Operation Aegis. No one else has figured out the truth yet. Those who came from other sectors have been deceived. And Morimura was the one behind it. <sighs> There's no coming back after total annihilation. True. And that was reason enough. It's why you agreed to take the job. What job? You were tasked with retrieving information. It was to be extracted from a certain data unit. But circumstances have changed. That unit may jeopardize our escape. You must destroy it. It's likely hidden somewhere at Sakura High School. And it may be accompanied by another student. Seek out Natsuno Minami in Class 1C. <gasps> Is that an order? Not at all. Ugh. I'm merely presenting options. BJ! The situation must be dealt with one way or another. If we don't, there's no turning back. What's this game about without spoilers? Nano machines. Natsuno Minami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. It's basically the nano, except the infected will open. It's likely the cause of. He's aware of my circumstances in this world. And he knows about my memory loss, too. Should I have gotten more information out of him? A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. Was that a gun? <laughs> Ryoko, let's see. A applying memory link C0204. And C0204 is the same one I have. It's been over a week since I wonder how she's doing without the pills. He was administered. Looks like a different. Seems it was all. All it says is. Juro. He's receiving NM. He received four. Then switched him. There's a scribbled note. The notes for what could it mean? Oh. Not so. All I was told. She may be in the position. If not, I don't trust him. But for now, I have to cooperate. It's my only shot at recovering my memories. Oh. Tomorrow, once classes are over, I'll pay a visit to the school. It's honestly hard to explain. Um, it's just, I don't know. I think, I say play it without knowing anything if you think the art looks good. Because that was what I was interested in when I thought of playing this game. I thought the art looked super good. Hey, Yori. Oh, hey, Nachan. What are you up to? I'm just waiting for someone. Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, see you. Hey, hey. Natsuno. Not so she was the one who had that data you Hey Akun. Were you waiting for me? Mm-hmm. I was hoping you'd show up. Doesn't know what Natsuna looks like. That's very Is true. Okay? <laughs> I believe I owe you an apology. I lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, 
I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. Imagine! I'm happy to help, but I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. Imagine someone coming up to you and being like, I don't know who my enemies are after I lost my memories. <laughs> I'd be like, what the hell are you saying? So you lost your memories? How did you find me? Easy. Your student ID helped me track you down. It's normal because it's anime. Oh, True. Right. No memories, huh? That's... Does that mean... He doesn't remember my confession? Oh, don't worry. I got the gist of it. <laughs> Is there anything you do remember? No, unfortunately. Oh. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsunomi Nami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. Damn it. That girl oh, in gym clothes. Runs away. She's probably gone by now. Do you know Nacha? No. Not at all. Not yet. Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Miwa-chan. Chill out, Miwa-chan. So, are things going well with you two? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, did you get to first? Huh? Stop! No, oh, you didn't go to second, did you? <laughs> Already, Yui-chan? You move fast! Miwa-chan. <gasps> Sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa-chan. Well, anyway, classic me watch uh, Thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. What? You know what these numbers mean? Y yes, I think so. Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service. I think. It just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm hmm My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You got this, Yui-chan. <laughs> Wait, Miwa-chan. A message service, huh? Oh, God, <sighs> Megumi. Later for you, Sakasan. Oh, Karabe kun. See you. Juro. That's Juro Izumi. Yakushiji. What's happening? He's the one receiving nano machine treatment, and she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. <laughs> she's definitely up to something. That's one way to put it. The medical records of Shu Amiguchi. They've all been administered a pill called NM. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. Oh! Hey, Akun. Where are you 
going? There's something I need to do. <sighs> Ooh. Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Ooh. Right after me watch on gave her her best luck. Ow! He followed him to his house? It says Kurabe on the nameplate. Do they both live here together? Oh, there's three bulls. That means Mirada's here. The table's set for three. Miyurko? Dinner's already. <gasps> So we meet again. Damn! It's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Woo! Now tell me, you said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Hey, um... Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. Damn! Ah! Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. Yeah, the gun's set to stun. Like, that makes it any better! <laughs> I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? There's nothing there! Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. A oh, cat? shit. No way. You are not a talking cat. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. <laughs> Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> ah! Game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. The game? I did. This is not a game! The gun she aimed at you is a nano machine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. Mirda? <laughs> Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miyurako and I swear they look the same. Sakikahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? I swear these two look so similar! One has a scar? Yeah, but I just can't, like, are they related? Are they the same person? Are they something, something? I don't know. Uh, that's what my brain thinks, at least. <gasps> Maybe there's something going on. Oh, uh, hello again. From their character design, but I don't know. That's just my, Updating my guess. Updating for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. 
to Mausan. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Is that Jiro? No, I think it's Mirda. One of them is incredibly sexy and the other one is Mira. <laughs> hey, Miura. I saw Tamal Karabe at the Sentinel number Stop! 18 Stop! Is this how you differentiate them Who in your she? mind? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. <laughs> but I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara, I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? <sighs> Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. Well, it did say that it was an AI. That's good. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. What? Anyway, the what Sentinel's is it? face is your face? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. <sighs> I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Yeah. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data lock. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. <gasps> you think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. Well, wait, okay. Sentinel number 17 is missing. BJ is looking for a memory core. Ah!
Okay, wait. Since the number 17 is missing, BJ is looking for number 17, and he's also missing his memory, and he's looking for his memory. Guys, I'm grasping your shoulders and shaking you. Guys! Yeah, and Tamao-san called. Well, he, like she she mentioned B, she mentioned Mirda in the bathroom, which means that. Ah! Me? Yeah, you, buddy. Unseal mystery files. Do I unseal mystery files by fighting? I, how, is that how you get mystery points? <laughs> yes? Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> cool. Shiba. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Let's go. I never finished. Oh shit. Reading this. Bye, ladies. <laughs> hey, don't you want to go to Aniguchi Kun's place? You didn't bring it up today. Hmm. Well, I beat the game, so now we can hang out, you and me. What the hell? Where do you want to go? Did you just want to go to Amiguchi's as usual? I'm fine with whatever. Do you think that one video is still available for rent? Probably. Want to go check? Get your bag. We haven't done this yet, so I guess. Hopefully, no one's checked it out yet. I really like this guy. <laughs> I mean, he's sus. We know from the beginning that he's sus, but they haven't really brought up anything about the fact that he's sus until ever. They like he did something sussy at the beginning, and then he never did anything sussy ever again. <sighs> We're out of luck, man. Video stores closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. It must have been part of that big gas explosion. Oh, I saw that on TV. That was our video store? No way! There was a gas leak in the shopping district. The explosion damaged buildings and shattered windows. I heard about it on the 7 a.m. news. So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? You don't have much of a choice. Mira. Oh, Mira-kun. Oh. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Well, okay. <laughs> Is something wrong? Um, okay. Tell me the truth, please. Huh? You don't need to play innocent. What? You are a sentinel pilot. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? Yes. It just happened the other day, right here. Uh, what happened? You mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but... That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. Yeah, you summoned your sentinel. You transmitted your sentinel right over there. Yeah. Transmitted? Uh-oh. You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that you mention it, that did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. Jurokun. Who are you talking to? What? Ah! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. 
illusions of the past. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's right. I haven't introduced you two yet. Whoa! This is one of my classmates. His name is Kyuta Shiba. <sighs> There's no one behind you. Where is he? What? Shiba-kun? He's right next to us. Sorry, but... It's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mira-kun. Wait. I think... This has happened before. <sighs> what? But everyone else? So, did you check out that video I lent you? Actually... I'm trying to think. I don't think anybody else has ever acknowledged his existence. Besides Juro. Oh my god, that's so fucking crazy. Yep. Watch the whole thing. I forgot to bring the tape back, though. No rush, man. <coughs> but you gotta tell me what you thought. Well, in the end, the criminal took over the main guy's body. So I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. Hey, um, why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? Hey. I'm not talking to myself. Then who are you talking to? Come to think of it, I saw Shiba-kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. I was talking to Shiba-kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? Oh, God. There's no one with that name in our class. Huh? Hmm. Hey, Karabi-kun? I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen. Kisaragi-san's acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shiba-kun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? He's standing right there. Um, Karabi-kun... There's no one named Shiba here. Oh my god! Are you okay? Say something, Shiba-kun. They're being so mean. Is this some kind of prank, or are you talking to ghosts? Either way, it's not funny. Me? A ghost? These girls need a better sense of humor. Let's go. Shiba-kun. Guys, I'm scared! What's your deal? Let's get going already. Hey, um... We grew up together, right? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. You're taking their joke way too seriously. It is strange, though. Why you look a little... Why you look a little transparent? You're joke way... It is strange. It's odd. When I think about grade school, I don't remember him at all. What? I can't remember any times in middle school either. And you're only realizing this right now? Oh, shit. It's odd. When I... I can't... Shiba-kun? You said you've been with me all this time, but... I can't seem to remember the details. I don't have any memories of our time together. Why do you think that is? <sighs> I should have known you'd figure it out. What do you mean? 
guess I overdid it with the mind hacking lately. What? <clears throat> Let's not overthink this, okay? Here, take this tape with you. It's your next set of memories. Go home and watch it carefully. <sighs> okay. Okay. What the hell? Wait. Calm down. I remember now. He's... Shibakun is... <gasps> I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful, I blow my cover. Who are you? So he's real? Artificial personality. 48Q. Codename QTA CBA. I see. Q In other words, Qta Shiba. I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. Damn. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Qta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. They're running all around in there, aren't they? What? But don't worry. Leave things to me and you'll be just fine. Transplanted memories? Yep. Mirada's like, My? what? Calm yourself. There's no one here. <laughs> but he's right there in front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were... Shiba-kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. What? You're not gonna remember this anyway. So chill out. Unless you want to look like a crazy person. Oh! All right, my friend. I've got a new video for you. Just forget about the world for a bit. And watch this. You're gonna love it. It'll wipe your mind clean as a whistle. No. Stop. Churro Coon. Ah! Wow. Right. Yeah, right. Oh my god, he's not here anymore. Shibakun's not oh, he's here. human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. The cat? So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. The... Juro Kurabe. The cat? I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs. But she just dodged the question. She had a sad look on her face. yusaka san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumis. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Oh. Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. <sighs> hmm. So it wasn't fully wiped. Damn. Damn. I guess mind hacking has its limits. Why did you do this? Why did you give me Juro Izumi's memories? 
Are you trying to turn me back into him? Don't worry about it. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA, CBA. I already told you, I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Then why don't you watch this video and relax? Hey. I'm not watching it. See ya. Bye. You know, we can't have you causing a scene I here. I guess it's about that time. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Whoa. Hey, watch it. Sorry, Nenji. That dream was awful. Like Fuyusaka-san. If that was a real memory, does that mean I... Minami-san suddenly sh and then brought over Miyurakuna. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushi. I always dreamed of living on my own. So... In my dream... A woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we... The woman I was with in that dream looked... Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. <gasps> Can I trust her? Oh, shit! She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she, she left. Went? She's gone. Uh, can't expect you to know. What? Hey, that was a little mean. I can know things. No. Running won't change a thing. <sighs> Think, think. Who might know something about this? <laughs> Fuyasaka-san's absent. Maybe Amiguchi? What about Yakushiji? Oh. Shinonome-senpai. She knows about Juro Izumi for sure. I should go talk to her. Hopefully she's at the nurse's office. I need to go to the nurse's office. It's the other way. I thought it was... I thought it was... I thought it was... Oh, she's actually there. Nobody knows how to close a damn door. Shinonome-senpai? Please, wake up. Why did someone <sighs> eavesdrops? Close the door! Izumi kun. No. Don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. <sighs> what happened? Shiba kun's not actual. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to. It's Shiba kun. He's been messing with my memories. Who? And replacing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi Kun's? That's odd. According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. Yeah! Miss Morimura? Our teacher? Wait a minute. That's what does she so have to do with true. this? They always say that it's gone forever and ever. Who is Shiba Kun? Q Tashiba. He called himself Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Am I... going to disappear? Well... If Izumi-kun's memories were transplanted into you... Does that mean you know about his past? I saw it all in the form of dreams and movies. What happened in them? 
Oh god. What memories do you have of his? What were your dreams like? In order to prevent the apocalypse, Fuyasaka-san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? This is all news to me. The city was in ruins. I went around killing students, one by one. I wouldn't let any of them get away. Among the dead, I saw people I knew. Like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. Izumi-kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. I forgot to mention. Shibukun gives me memories on videotape. Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? If I recall correctly, we were in a big UFO. What? Well. I made it back. She is pissed. How did it look, Juro? Oh. She's not. Not good. Oh my god, it said the other name. I arrived name. right in the middle of the invasion. Barely made it back in one piece. I don't think the world had much of a chance. The year was 1985. Is that a flyer from a movie theater? Logs indicated shutdown sometime in the Heisei era. But at the time I visited, it was right there in Tsutsuji Ward. Hiro Morimura. So Sector 4 is in 1985. And Sector 3 is in 2025. That's another 40 year gap. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods. All of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? <sighs> I have no idea. What do you think, Sukasa-kun? We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. If that's the case, it's inconsistent with history as we know it. You're right. It was just last year that we were invaded. The year 2104. That was the first and only time. If there were a kaiju attack prior to that, we would have known about it. We must be dealing with a time paradox. Yeah. Maybe something weird happened when they arrived. It could have caused reality to split into parallel universes. We know that kaiju technology oh, allows for time brain. travel. It's not hard to believe that would impact the future in some way. Yeah. Hold on. While this device does appear to be a time machine, it may be premature to make such assumptions. <laughs> ah! An earthquake. A big one. Something feels weird about it. Maybe it's not an earthquake. Maybe it's walking. Maybe it's something walking upstairs. This is bad. What's wrong? The countdown. Oh! <gasps> it's reached zero. Don't tell me. The shaking is. It's time. Shit. We're rapidly losing contact with zones of the UFO. The very Earth's crust is crumbling. What? This is an unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Is it sinking into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. 
We must seek refuge in the past. What? Oh. Get in the transmitter. Are you serious? If we do that, we might not ever come back. And if we stay here, we die. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. If you're setting our destination coordinates, let me suggest Sumire Bridge. Amidst the destruction I saw earlier, that bridge was still standing. You heard him. Let's get in. Okino-kun! I'm in. Psych. <laughs> Is something wrong? <laughs> it's not letting me select any sectors. I don't understand. My commands aren't working. I need to find a time it'll let us travel to. Stay in the device. Just hurry. I've got it. Sector zero. I don't know what year that is. But it's the only destination we can access right now. Takasakun, get over here now! I can't. It's not letting me set a timer. <gasps> I'll need to operate it manually. Oh no! Go on without me. Well, we Takasa -kun. Lose this, but also. Two thousand eighty six. Nine. <laughs> Chihiro. Man. I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. Across the river. It hasn't been redeveloped yet. 16 years yet. ago, isn't that right when I they were born? Century Tower isn't there. It wasn't built until 2100. It'll be over 10 years from now before it goes up again. There's no point in waiting any longer. Let's go. Sukasa-kun isn't coming back. Look, even the Shikishima State Building is missing. We have to go. Do you plan on standing here forever? Ah. We can't just leave him. You agree with me, right? In this era, you and I are still newborns. Even your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Our citizen ID won't be valid here either. We can't purchase anything or use public services. The yeah. city may look familiar, but this is the world of 16 years ago. To us, it might as well be a foreign country. But we can't go back. We have no choice but to figure something out. So they changed their names? What are oh, we no. going to do? Wait. Hmm? The invasion's going no. to happen again in 15 years. They kept their name? We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't, <sighs> we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. It has to be us. Let's figure out how to get back to the UFO. It should still be buried underground. If we can find it, then... I get it now. We can save Okinokun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that... We need to make it through today. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. You're right. Shall we? From there, the two of us spent the next few years together, living in society's shadows. Huh. That guy in my dream. 
He called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. Why is she so shocked? Stay away from me. What? <gasps> that incident you just described. It's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been him. Who? Girl, don't leave me in the dark! He's a time traveler. He's gone back in time over and over again. A time traveler? Four, two, six? That's crazy. The memories you've been seeing are his. But his name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No. It's a different Juro Izumi. What? One who came from a lost world. What? Stay back. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. So that means... My dreams are memories of a lost world? And Shibakun... Is that world's Juro Izumi? That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. His consciousness? <laughs> oh my. Looks like Senpai isn't feeling so good. Uh... Man, you've sure got a big mouth. Damn! Stop this! Oh, come on! Ryoko Shinonomi is a freaking weirdo. If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences. Ow! She is not a freaking weirdo. Damn, we actually made it to this point. <laughs> this point. some combat now. I'm like trying to think. Combat? Or save it for next time. <laughs> New area has been unlocked. Awesome! Normal, casual, intense. For the next assault, we will form and deploy two squads. One to launch an attack, and one on defense. Jeez, with this few people? What's the point of splitting us up? Why don't we all just gang up and beat the crap out of them? <laughs> no, we need to focus on protection. The kaiju are going to try to burrow underground to attack the terminal. If they get that far, then the sentinels won't be enough to stop them. This is the only way we can stop them. We cannot allow even a single one through. If they manage to get past our defense squad, then our battle really will be over. We need to balance our priority between defense and directly neutralizing the invasion force. Fine. 
my place is in the offensive line. You guys just hang back and watch me kick their shit in. So true. Your units will have a hard time dealing with aerial enemies. But we can predict the kinds of dimos we'll be seeing in the oncoming waves. We should probably build our offensive team based on what we know they'll be up against. Tutorial attack! <laughs> in battle, the strike team fights the front line defense squad intercepts enemies. Pilots on the defense squad are positioned directly around the terminal and automatically fight with their defensive. Okay. Is this just automatic? Choose your fighters? They'll attack. Who do you like the most? Oh, we gotta gotta get our. Let's roll. <laughs> Rounder melee and support. I see. The invasion ends here. Go with this then. Then we have our plan. Let's move out. Easy there, Hijiyama-kun. Don't easy there, me. I'm trying to lead the charge. <laughs> I just want to go over something before the battle kicks off. Let's try improving the Sentinel. What, a refit? Right now? Sort of. This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the Sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. Don't I have That's lots amazing, of Okino. chips? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it. Select him and then press X to customize. 94k. <laughs> Try unlocking. <laughs> Try unlocking a new one and equipping it to the Sentinel. Okay. Get both of them. Oops, equip. Yay! Customization screen using this to. Okay. Upgrading the meta system level, you gain access to new. 
armors and meta skills. Various additional effects also unlock and enhance ba balances Q when creating a strong team. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Yeah, guys, I got money. Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah. Maybe this shit'll make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah. Let's get going. And just buy for everyone. <laughs> Railgun in the target area. Wasn't this one really strong? Yes. They were nerfed on the Switch version, but try them anyways. Oh, okay. They were that strong? Busted in the PS4 version? Damn. It's like having another slow teammate. <laughs> Oh, they're going to spawn here. Number 12, moving out. They don't stand no in rounds over. Gotta keep my spirits up. What you got, girl? Number 13. Oh, wait. Can't mess this up. You're like kind of melee. Okay. Number 13. Unbelievable. I'm out. Okay. What now? You what are I very do? melee. Yes. 
Yeah, number 10, moving out. We've got it rough. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be more over here. How far does this go? Shield them. Much obliged. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I just don't like me. me. So close. Oh, they're coming down. Gotta do something. You can move like over here. Number two. Oh, so I can keep this friendly. thing moving. Big guy. I have to focus. What if I just put this here? Got me up. What next? <laughs> bad guy not big bad guy Blasted! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, like all the enemy signals are gone. How long you been sitting on that trick? 
Well, why can't we just do that to all of them? Um. If it was that simple, we wouldn't be struggling. Yeah. The Aegis can't activate unless they get close enough to the terminal. Oh, the way that it was not They're talking, I thought they just, I thought they meant the rail gun. Their goal is to slip into terminals stationed in various positions across the UFO. If they seize control of the mainframe, our world is as good as gone. Our current situation demands a defensive approach. To keep the terminals safe, we have to rely on the Aegis. So what? The best we can hope for is to keep this one thing safe? Makes it sound like we're getting the shit kicked out of us. It's true. All we can hope for is to protect it to the end. Damn. Victory! Did we... Win? We did it! Come on, guys. We got some ass to kick. Holy shit! She's so strong! Wait a minute. Win streak, you'll receive a score bonus based on the number of battles you fought in a row. You'll also receive mystery points based on the total score. Pilots who join strike team will experience brain overload. What? Streak will end when you're covered with Y on the team organization screen. Does that mean I can put them in this time, but then I can swap I have to swap them all out next time? Halfway. That's so cool. Info's up. About those creepy looking dimos? They're excavation models. Drill flies, looks like. Those things are already flying. You're telling me they go underground too? Not great for my mech. I can punch like a truck, but I can't reach the guys in the air. The EMP's what you want there. They'll come crashing down to punching range. <laughs> Pain in the ass, though. Losing the Type 98 tank was a big factor in the design. The first-gen Sentinels went in hard on close-quarters combat. They ended up with a focus on raw power over mobility. They didn't know they'd have to deal with these flyers. Hey, hold on a sec, Amiguchi. How do you know all this crap? Well, uh, funny story. Guess you could say it just... Came to me in a dream. The hell are you talking about? Okay, sussy. <laughs> I can I can do it. Can't mess this up. Hold on, guys. I'm slow. Hold on, enemies. I'm a slow girl. You can't do that right off the bat. Hit! I did it! I guess life comes at you fast. Stay calm. I can do this. Yeah, you can. Don't miss. Nice. There's like one baby oh, right no, in front of me. Make it work. Okay. The practice round. Still not used to this thing. Here you go. How's that? Say your prayer. Enemy number twenty with an enemy. Enemy, unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. 
Can you hit any of these guys? No. What if you jump though? Technically, aren't you jumping on it? They move for me. Give it up. Let's see. There's one little guy here. Uh oh. They're like any other. What next? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this one guy? <laughs> Damn. I'll just Let's wait. See. Okay. What now? I'll get him. Maybe They're he'll run in. Maybe. Maybe he'll run Hold still. into the gun, which I think he did. Bingo. Oh no, you don't. Kaido is still, still not used to this thing. Range. He made me forget what I was saying. not down yet so it's all good hit gotcha nice are we winning ah why there's so many try this holy enemy down i'm in range okay let's do this Oh my god, there's so many! There's so many, oh my god! Oh my god, it is strong! little purple dots mean?
can't punch any of them. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah! Have I ever tried punching a bird? No. Let's go, Natsuno. That would be so mean. One of my greatest friends. Get it! I beat him! I'll get him and take them off. As long as I can keep this thing moving. What next? Termination of enemy signals confirmed. <laughs> Yay! Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending technical analysis. No longer be deployed and must be rest must rest rest <laughs> for one or ah pilots to the strike team friend squad okay man this is rough reading is very rough indeed oh my god she's so strong we actually did it a little harder than a video game huh <laughs> Level 5 pilot skill, I got this. Whee! Whoa! Yay! He really did put on a shell. <laughs> oh, whoops. game's like you know now right <laughs> the game is really like all right <laughs> you you must know at this point but if you don't here you go <laughs> 
60 centimeters tall. That's big. Holy shit, that's huge! Measuring tape handy? Yes! Why does everyone think it's so weird that I have a measuring tape on my desk? I've explained it 10,000 times, okay? Like, I wanted to, I, you know, like, I, I love, I wanted, I still love buying clothes during, <laughs> during quarantine, so I needed to know my sizes, so I wanted to buy clothes and whatever. So I needed to measure my sizing to make sure that the clothes were the ones I didn't know what sizes to buy. <laughs> Can you tell us? No. Oh, shit! Let's go. Two battles and she's back at it, hey. Oh shit. I can unlock so many. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. How should I keep going? <laughs> I kind of want to know his story. We haven't gotten to play his at all yet. We haven't played Amiguchi and we haven't played Hijiyama's story at all yet. Yo. Okay, we'll play, we'll play, we'll, we'll play Amiguchi's and then we'll stop for today. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, JJB241! Happy birthday to you! Ooh, happy birthday! Otsu on all of your stuff that you had to do today, oh my goodness. Hey, welcome back for six months! Thank you! I hope you have an amazing birthday today. I hope you have a great birthday today! Thank you, thank you! And Otsu on all of your work today. Now you can relax. And listen to me be cringe. Thank you! I hope you have a great birthday. Thank you. Ah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, JJB241. Happy birthday to you. Oh my... Ah! Thank you, thank you! I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, even though it's your birthday. Why do you guys spoil me on your birthday? Please, spoil yourselves, you deserve it. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD 250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way the school can't get on my case about it. Damn. <laughs> Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Man, she's cute. 
Damn. Bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. <laughs> I just might have fallen for her. He's so silly! Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her, though. He runs fast. I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Cute. Oh, it's her. Hmm? She's in 1B, same class as Karabe-kun. She's not even my type, but I can't get her out of my head. What's going on? Must be from all those uh, dreams. It's just Amiguchi. I didn't offend you or anything, did I, Sawatari-san? Amiguchi can remember. That's my not name. your name. Oh, is it? I remember Tomi-chan too. Well, I, I don't know her last name. Me. I only know Miwa-chan is Miwa-chan. <laughs> uh, Miwako. <laughs> what do you see in this guy? Damn, he's. Come a, on, let's go. He's smooth with it. No, don't leave, girls. Oh my god, it's so awesome to play as the popular guy. I feel like I have so much power. He runs fast. His running sprite is cool. Kurabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Isn't that... He's talking to himself! Hey, Miura-kun. Amiguchi-kun. You still on the run? I can't go home. Even if I could, it wouldn't solve anything. Look, you don't have to tell me any details if you don't want to. But it sounds like a pretty rough situation. Well... For what it's worth, you can crash at my place whenever you need to, okay? Aww. I owe you a debt of gratitude for all you've done. I'll be all right. I'm staying with an acquaintance now. Oh, yeah? He's so awesome. Ah. So, uh, <laughs> what is this thing? Uh, well, this is... Don't forget your promise. It talks? Damn. Whoa. An RC robot? That's crazy. Is it yours? Not exactly. Wow. Deja vu. Oh, yeah. I feel like I had a dream about something like this. What? You were in it too, Mirakun. Maybe that's your big secret, huh? What? You're some runaway hero from a ruined future, here to save us all. Oh, the opposite, actually. <laughs> My dreams are always somewhere in the future. But I feel like I know everyone I keep seeing in them. Well, maybe I really am just dreaming. Makes more sense than them being premonitions. I don't know if that could really be our future anyway. Everything in them is way too crazy. Um... Even that dream. Believe in yourself. Eh, bad joke. Just been having some crazy dreams lately, I guess. Maybe I am from the future. <laughs> Jeez, you didn't take me seriously, did you? <clears throat> anyway, if something big happens, <laughs> you can always talk to me. Oh my god! I hope things start getting better for you soon, man. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you came from the future. Mirna's like, maybe I did. Wait, you're here Was that too? Drone scouting for the kaiju. Hope they didn't find us. What? Kisaragi-san. There was this 
great cake shop on the first floor here. They had pear tarts. They had this pear tart. Yeah. It was amazing. But Nenji's missing. And now, even my own apartment, it's all ruined. All gone. Are you gonna be okay? Sorry, just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. Oh, my, my voice is all scratchy from crying all day. You sound good to me. And scratchy or not, I'd still tune in to see you. <laughs> You're such a dork. What? Let's try to get to the cross-country road. We might see a rescue copter flying around or something. What, up there? The only things flying around are the weird bug things. Nobody's here to help us. Even online, with Riz. <laughs> nothing's getting updated. There's no way we're getting rescued. I mean... I think it's like this around the whole world. Those things erased everybody. Like how everyone in the city just vanished at once. He, he has... I saw it happen. I don't know. I bet mom Good and dad intentions, were... maybe? That's the part I don't get. Whatever these big killer alien things are, they've clearly got us way outclassed in tech. They can wipe out whole crowds without a beam or anything. He's a good guy, though. And still, with all that power, they come here in this gigantic horde. They dig these holes all over town, and then... They just stop. No carnage. They're just sitting there. Like they're waiting for something. <sighs> and us. We didn't get killed or vanish or anything. There's gotta be a reason for that, too. How are you still this calm? It's crazy that you can still keep it together. Even with all this stuff. I... I'm really not. <laughs> Trust me, I'm freaking out too. <gasps> Look out! Ah! <sighs> you okay? Look. It was just a building collapsing over there. Just? They didn't find us. Yeah. Guys, it's the apocalypse, okay? I know we are teens, but guys, there are more important things going on in life right now, like a building collapsing or aliens attacking. Love can bloom anywhere. This like reminds me of my least favorite book of all time. like this scene well my least favorite book of all time the maze runner how did you remember oh my god i hate that book so much the fourth maze runner book where like the sun is exploding and like the whole world is set on fire and the main character and the girl are like trying to escape from like underground in a sewer and the water is like boiling so hot that if you touch it, you like get, you get burnt, burnt. And then I think like they're like running or something. I don't remember. And I think they're like hiding or something. And then the main character, the only thing he can think about is how much he loves her. And he's like, oh my God, my, 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 my neighbor, uh, she's so out of my league. Oh my God. Ah, the, the, <laughs> They're like trying to run for their life, but the only thing that the whole entire book is about is... Ah! What? Huh? Uh... Well... You really changed. Back in middle school, you were a total nerd. Damn! Glasses and all. It just makes me wonder... Why do you make such a big change to your image? Uh, oh, uh, well, funny story. 
I was listening to one of your streams, and <gasps> you said you'd kind of go for tough guys. What? Cool guys. That's basically it. Hey, hold on. What, what happened to Yuki-chan? <gasps> That's it? That's why you started trying to be such a badass? I guess I got the look down, but I couldn't walk the walk, huh? Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said... Well, you know fate? As in the letter F and number 8? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's... Actually, my username. Damn. What? All this time, that's been you? Oh, shit! Hey, it's not like I was keeping it a secret. What's happening? I only got As so far because of him. Game. That's why I started getting serious about my singing. Because he supported me. Told me I was a great singer. Well, you are a great singer. And I, um... I what? guess I always sort of had feelings for her. Over here! <gasps> Mirda! I can't believe it. There were other survivors. <laughs> we came to rescue you. Morimura-san, they're over here! Morimura? My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. I'm... So the drone found these two then? <coughs> now, who are you? Me? I'm Tetsuya Ida. must be getting to me and that show that came on in the middle of the night wish that was just a dream <laughs> back in my dream he called himself Tetsuya Ida we look identical but that's not my name so it's weird I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams except it's not exactly me my name's Ida there just two people struggling to survive wonder if they're in love. Oh. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. What? Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. What? 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 Everybody's like Juro. All of you are like Juro and have all these multiple personalities who are in love with each other and I can't keep up anymore. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in class 1A. <laughs> no sign of her, though. Ah, Yuki-chan! I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh. Ouch! Ow! Help her up! Oh, oh my God. it's you. What? She's the same. Just like the Kisaragi I saw in my dream. <laughs> Out loud. Did you say something? <laughs> you got a problem? You were the one just standing around here. Gotta make sure. Huh? Ah! What? Huh. Oh! What the hell are you oh. doing, you what? pervert? Oh, I do you think you can do anything you want just because you're What's popular? What's going on? Look, I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. What? I'm sorry. What? Now you're calling me fat? What the hell is your problem? What is this guy going on about? How was 
that okay? It's not! Do you think you can just go around grabbing girls? Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he is so silly. I saw her hanging there. Or half of her at any rate. What? Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. Are we talking about the same dream? I already know what Karabe-kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? This dream's probably w looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up, but that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. In half? I like his running animation. I keep saying that, but <sighs> I think it looks so good. Kurabe kun might be waiting <laughs> for me. I should get going. Oh. oh, he has a jogging one too. Yori. Hey, Fuyusaka. You the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi kun. Karabe kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? <laughs> oh, shit. No. Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. <laughs> what kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there, too, in my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is... underground? And I saw Usami-chan there, too. <gasps> Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. Wow. Amiguchi-kun, please. Tell me more about your dream. Okay, so... Now we get to see the dream. And that should work okay. Memory data is now ready. Damn, he looks so silly in his lab coat. <laughs> Nerd! Thank you, Tamao-san. <laughs> I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida-kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll be fine <laughs> with her. I'm sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body too. Soon. I'm looking forward to it. Let's begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been Diamond synchronized. Square. Please, come back to me. Tomi, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? <sighs> Wait, are you his older brother? <laughs> <sighs> Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so... grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years. Even with the technology underground. Hmm? Huh? I... I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. Uh. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Oh, okay! Uh. Huh? What's... happen... Ing? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. 
I found data for your old memories, your mind. And made you and into, an into an android? Android body. You mean I'm I'm not human? Am I Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Hey, Saragi san you're like me now. An AI based on memory data. That's so... You are constructed to think and act just like her. Whoa. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh. Let me try to calm her directly. Uh. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. I thought he was just a silly guy! We've got a problem with the Sentinels, Itakun. What's the to an android? The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain oh, direct access. That's a bit insane. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. down really Tommy what happened to the real me well please be honest Juro killed you <gasps> you and the other kids and the and I put him the, down with the, with the gun wait oh my god Damn it. The memory that dream, dream when again. he shot a bunch of people? <sighs> Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. Here comes the idol. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. Yeah, because that's her. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes, but Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. And your nurse, maybe? I forgot that he's actually a very smart guy. <laughs> Um, you in there? Not coming out today? <laughs> Talk. Hello? Nothing to see here, just a guy talking to his TV. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. No, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. Oh. There you are. This is still freaky. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. <laughs> no easy way to drop that. Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else, just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask. It's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. Kinda crazy. I was blocked by universal control. The system
system denied me access. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kinda over my head, but I guess the point is... You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Man, she's cute. A bombshell <laughs> like that? I've never met anyone. I just might have fallen. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. Uh, I don't know. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. This girl hasn't... I mean, wait. I can't remember if Jiro talked about her. He did ask... He kind of acknowledged her existence. I'm like, ever since the Shiba thing, my brain is like, what's going on? Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. Huh? I'm cutting the connection for now. <sighs> What? Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish the brain that was overload just a meter is full? Yes, it is. Very. Back in my dream, he called himself We Look Identical, but the. The Yuki Inaba has been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the punchline here. <laughs> this dream's probably way, way... Looked like it was in some kind... Never figured she'd turn up, but that was her. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like, not having a body of your own? Yuki-chan! I see Yuki-chan. Maybe Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria. I should get going. Yuki-chan! Whoa! What, she's drinking apple juice? Yuki-chan! <laughs> Amiguchi! I was just thinking about you. And now, here you are. You followed her! Destiny sure wants us to be together. Damn. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. <laughs> not Chan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. Aww. How about a date? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, one date. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. No. He's trying. He's trying so hard. Again? How about the beach? I know a place with a great view. I said no. What? You don't have any place you want to go? <laughs> He's trying so hard. A place hard. from back in the day? Somewhere with good memories? <sighs> Got a place on your mind? Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of 
course not. I just got to thinking. It reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. I can take you there. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. He's like, that's cool. Uh, that's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. No, let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. Hey! This is the perfect chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. What? Shukun, let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. <gasps> Just 30 kilometers in diameter. What? An enclosure? So they can't mm. go there. But we still get news from all over the world. You're telling me we're closed off? No, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So... I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki Bypass. You should now be able to see the truth. What? Go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. How was she able to do that? Whoa. What the hell? Baseball. It's just like the backyard again. <laughs> How do I agree to this shit? Huh? Hey. Did you say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry we about it. Got the whole How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? In our yard to explore. She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? Used to go to her place every summer. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. Aww. No kidding. I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. Aww. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. Aww. And we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree, up on the hill behind the house. That's weird. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. And we'd go catch cicadas off it. Everybody have the oh, same yeah? memories? And the river, the watermelon. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. Well, we're almost 15 kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... God. This is what she was talking about. This sure doesn't look like a construction site. No. It just goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. What? Yo, uh, where the hell are we? The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? 
I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? <gasps> no way. <gasps> I can't believe it either. What? How could I? It'd mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city, is the only world we've ever known. What? It's all fake. Cool. Not cool. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams and that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. <laughs> Why did you have to say it like that? I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Thank you for the super chat. It's true, if I had just... No, well, I needed to complete quite a bit. Before I could get to this part. Because I had already finished a lot of story. That's why I could unlock this one. The last one we just did. Takes a little bit of time, I think. Still. She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. <sighs> Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. You only need to wave too? No, I needed to um have unlock some story. I was able to get to the one before that because I already finished Natsuno's part. Wonder if Yuki-chan's here. Aha! Yuki-chan! <sighs> Quit following me. Let's go to that tunnel again. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this story. So true. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Slow down. I got bigger fish to fry right now. What could be a bigger fish than Hold that? On. What bigger fish? Because <laughs> what we found was a huge fish, man. What's bigger than that? <sighs> I got detention. <laughs> detention? I kind of bombed the quiz. I mean, so bad that they're saying my test scores and my transfer paperwork don't make sense. Usually I just ditch, but I just got into the same school as Nachan. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. I'll tutor you. I see Tomiki Saragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. But if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just okay. gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out for a sec. <sighs> Could use a sugar boost. Time yeah. to drink water? A little pick me up should do it. <sighs> I'm surprised I had water left in my water bottle. Oh! It's this part. <sighs> Love me a little fizz. Man, I needed that. Okay, let's think about this. 
only really see this going one way. She's talking I tell out someone loud. and they dump me in a psych ward. So what can I do? I'm a good job. Ah. Oh. This hey, is the part where he's like, can we hang out? And he's like, no, I'm not feeling so good today. Could we hang out again today? You got it. Wait. Let's see. What can those missing? Why don't we go to your place this time? <gasps> oh my god! That's why Shiva never offered his place ever! Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but... Well, right now... I have a guest staying over. Too. Things are a little awkward, so... Uh, sorry it's just not a good time well all right let's go to my place then thanks you know i thought it was kind of weird that he never even like asked sheba like what he wanted to do but i didn't really think about it but now it makes sense Done already? Huh? What? Sorry. Looks like all we've got is soda. You did say you wanted a drink, right? Thanks, Sami Gucci Kun. The game being played was just all in his brain? Okay, and then he walked this way. He drank, and then Amiguchi walked over here. It's getting dark. He's like, I'm hungry. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Oh. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body. So he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. Hmm. It was interesting. But definitely not for casuals. Oh. <laughs> for a B movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. This is where he talks about the idol, right? Miyuki Inaba. He says, like, I didn't know you were into idols. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Anaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. Time to go eat ramen. Maybe I could tell Karabe-kun about the TV stuff? He's one of the only people who might believe me. That's very true. But how do I even bring it up? Don't want to get this wrong. I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear, I'll just come off as a crazy <laughs> fanboy. Actually, maybe I better keep my mouth shut. <laughs> no, tell him. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. 
Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? He's such a good friend. <sighs> well, anyhow, want to get food? We could swing by the video store, pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For you and me. What's going on? Oh. Memory transfer complete. Now it's getting sussy. Now. Open your eyes, Juro. What? Oh, maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. <gasps> Do you recognize me? Tetsuya Ida. Or at least an older version of him. I see I was gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. So, 2099. How do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs. Not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. Ow! So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero. Brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're gonna have a little chat about your research. What do you want to know? Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you hit some snag with the method? <laughs> hey! Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Uh-oh. Hit the... Hit the pain button! <laughs> Again? Okay, let's... The method was liable. It's possible to download memory. Why does that information matter to you? Planning to take over someone's body? You killed Kisaragi. Ah. And I will make you pay. Damn. I'm bringing her back as a human. That's literally impossible. This is incredible. How many times have you revived me here? Not the first, not even the second. Damn it. Only you would find the one gap in my system security. <laughs> You've been bringing me back and killing me for a long time. You even taught me to tell you how to interrupt the D-Force's production. Must have been painful if you got that out of me. Handling the Dimos code is dangerous, you know. Yeah. How far back did you look? I really need to keep an eye on you. So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then it wastes me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Can't afford the risk. Damn. Ida-kun. 
What? What's wrong? I found out from Morimura-san. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. Yeah. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? Oh, <sighs> uh, a lot. You know she's dead. The girl you're talking to. She's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if... Even if you steal her body and transfer my mind. Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you. But I can't support you. I can't support this. some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Hmm? Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. <gasps> Strange move for an man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. <laughs> Or maybe you have the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. Uh, I've heard enough. You don't need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here, we're just data. Damn! All you have to do is reset us. And we spring to life, just like you did to me. <sighs> Time to shut him down. I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. <sighs> That's right. Better watch carefully. Never know what might happen. Ah! That is so fucked up. There. Deleted. That should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. Mm. Are you mad at me? I think he messed with her head a little <sighs> too much. Yikes! Is she gonna reactivate him? Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. <gasps> Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past oh, selves, no Oh shit! Less. That's... So, how are you doing? <sighs> what happened? Oh my god! Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? Oh my god! 
good! A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, son. I'm sorry. But I need this body more than you do. Oh my god! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Must have fallen asleep watching a video. Whoops. Looks like Karabe-kun went home. Whoop, whoop. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ah, uh, that dream just now feels like it started off the end of the last one. So true. You saw the video. Hey! Man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still... the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Ooh! Wait, that happened... In the past? You're still talking about that movie I watched, right? Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... He's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. What? So Karabe-kun's watching the past, too. Is that what these weird dreams are? Yes. So, wait. All these dreams look pretty futuristic. You're saying they were in the past? I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. Yeah. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. <laughs> now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? So true. Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? <laughs> this isn't gonna be some big evil scheme, right? No way. It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. No way! <laughs> As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. This really is the future. haven't hit a block yet so like i mean all right <laughs> it's saturday night everyone so me and karabe kun probably fuyusaka too the dreams <coughs> we're seeing are actual events from the past and it turns out this place is actually isolated <sighs> And how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki and Aba talking through my TV. <laughs> Who the heck do I even talk to about this? 
If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki Anaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are. And beyond that, wish I could pretend it was a my own private little event. Back in my dream, he called himself We Look Identical, but that... Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. Mm. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the cra- What would it even be like? The way she describes it. These aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. The way Miyuki Inaba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. Yuki-chan? <laughs> nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Oh. Detention is a cruel mistress. So true. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Zero. Kurabe kun. Amikuchi kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Ah! Rabe kun Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out, too? Hmm. Let's go to his house. Everyone else is broken in at some point or another. We might as well also. Welcome back to Pepper Cities. Thank you. I'm trying to watch this. So many gaps I got to fill. <laughs> you can do it. Maybe I need some fresh air. Welcome back to Member Seas. Thank you! You can do it. This game is giving you... Well, actually, maybe not. This game is giving lots, but also confusing lots. Maybe. Maybe I should just go public. Lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me. Send that tape out to TV stations. Who's up here? Oh, Nenji. What's got you so spaced out? Uh, Amiguchi. Just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Just got shit on my yeah. mind. You could say that. Honestly, I think he would believe you if you told him. Hey, uh... Remember when I had skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. <laughs> Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? There's an idol on oh. my TV talking to me. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? <laughs> She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. <laughs> she said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. Damn. I'll just get out of your way then. No, stay. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. 
girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I, I... I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No <gasps> need to apologize. Damn! This might hurt a little anyway. Falls out a gun! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Uh oh. Look what you've done. Nano machine. What's going on? What is this? Where am I? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the robot I saw in my dreams? Oh shit, this thing flies! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Launch point looks to be Yaimachi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies. And the U.S. military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa-era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. He's just going up! And call in Ryoko Shinonome. He's gone! He's out of the picture! It's still ascending. <laughs> What's it trying to do? That sentinel. He's gone! Looks I like. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? You? Maybe? Uh, coincidence? Something? I don't know. Where are you going? Hey, it's Yuki-chan. What an entrance. I knew it. It's like I keep saying, <laughs> we've got to be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kind of hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? <laughs> Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Uh-oh. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll <gasps> take over from here. Oh, shit. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Ah! Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. 
Yo! We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us, and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. Do you know his name? You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Let's go. Especially from guys like you. That might be you. Easy, Amiguchi. Same. Yuki same John, shit. You know this guy? He's my boss. She quote is unquote. a member of our organization. Oh shit! What? You were part of her assignment. Oh shit! She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. Oh shit! No way. Misunderstanding art. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi. Uh, I... Or not even that uh, much of a misunderstanding. I suggest you cooperate. Oh Shoot, no! For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. I mean, kind of misunderstanding because he, I mean, she doesn't really want to work with them. Ah! Darn. <laughs> oh. Ah, I want to keep going. But I should stop. <sighs> Good place? Yeah, I think so. Second area wave head. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Who can I unlock? <coughs> Six of them, currently at five. Probably use all of them. Okay, I'll probably pick it up from here next time. Two battles? We only had to do two battles and it gave me that much more story content. <laughs> like eight hours of story content through only just two battles. And there's still, I'm not even 50% done the story yet. What the hell? Appearances by and it doesn't have the names. Does that mean that the scene is not complete? It's kind of like how we had to go back in time like a bunch of times to see who was actually there with Mirda and Shinonome and the other three. My god. people who like make story heavy games are actually geniuses 
especially people who like make games like this or like Somnium Files where they make the story and then they like take it up they like tear it apart games that like tear apart the story and you play it in not chronological order but the game still makes sense even out of order like uh, that's like a whole entire separate talent there's a talent to writing a good story and then there's another talent by writing a good story that you can literally chop up into a million pieces and then throw them out of order and they still work like ah. Some people in this world are too big brain. One of the things that can only work as a video game, I can agree. It's so awesome. Ooh. Stop writing my save time in the chat, okay? You don't have to put me on blast like this. <laughs> why why do we have to keep doing this? And then now you guys are super chatting it. Like, you don't... It's only 14 hours. Wow. 14 hours, almost 15 over the span of two days. Ooh. She's a little extra with it. Okay, let me turn this shit off. <laughs> Turning my switch off. It's so hot. Tomorrow again? No, I have... Wait, what day is it? Is it Saturday today? Is it Sunday already? Oh my god. I can't stream tomorrow. I have, I have meeting. And such. Ah! Thank you for the Aka symbol! Thank you! Oh my goodness. Thank you! It's kind of text heavy for most of my friends. What? Thanks to know my oh, she also enjoys touching story. Thank you for the Aka symbol! Thank you! Thank you! It is not. It is not. It is not too text heavy at all especially when it's all voice it's, it's full voice how could it be too text heavy tell your friends they're wrong send this to your friends hello friends you guys are wrong this game is not too text heavy also it's full voiced what more do you, what more can you want from anything in life full voice games this is things that people used to dream of thank you for the akasupa thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> All right. Oh my God, my legs. Ah. Back in the day, when we played games, they were not fully voiced, okay? It was not expected of a game to have fully voiced games, like mobile games. Do you know how long it took before OnStars had a fully voiced main story? Very, very niche comment that some of you probably will not care about. But to me, it means a lot. <laughs> stars to get fully voiced forever like five years i told you it was seven years i think it was four i don't remember but like it took a while so having a game fully voiced means a lot to me because for five years i only played on stars why did i not turn my monitor back on <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's working. Okay. <sighs> Was OnStars fully voiced from the beginning? I don't remember anymore. Maybe I'm thinking about a different game. <laughs> no. Oh! Hell yeah. Okay. I was not lying. Phew. Thank God I was not, no BGM. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Well, it felt like it took like five years. It probably didn't. But in my heart, it felt like it. <sighs> Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I was shocked when I first found out about the Shiva reveal. No wonder no one ever talked to him or acknowledged him. I know, right? <sighs> what the hell? You know, sometimes I'm glad. Like, I feel like sometimes when I play things, 
I can tell when things are going one way or the other, and then I can predict it. But I'm glad that sometimes, even when things might be like right in front of me, I'm glad that I'm stupid and sometimes can't see things in front of me. Because, you know, it brings more fun to be shocked later on. <laughs> It makes me have more fun to then later be like, oh my god, what? Like when they said they were living in the dome or whatever, and everyone in the chat was like, I knew it. I was like, how? How could you have? There was like 10,000 other things to think about during this game. How could you have ever came to that conclusion at some point? <laughs> I was thinking about everything else i wasn't thinking about their living condition it just comes up in sci-fi often oh can't believe you're streaming for like eight hours thanks to the long stream of course <laughs> of course i love streaming for long 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 hours my it's my specialty ah. <laughs> I was like I was actually considering like ending at 11 I think it was to play goose goose duck <laughs> on Lucas stream I think I like used the bathroom at like nine o'clock or something and I was like oh Maybe in like two hours. I don't remember. I used the restroom at like nine or ten or something, and I was like, oh, they're gonna play Goose Goose Duck in a bit. Or later tonight. And I was like, maybe I'll maybe I'll be done by then. <laughs> and then by the time so then I was thinking <coughs> I was thinking that. And then by the time when I was playing, I was like, oh Goose Goose Duck. I looked over at the clock and it was 1 a.m. And I was like, <laughs> wait. <laughs> By the time I had like, in my brain, I was like, oh yeah, I should check the time to make sure I didn't miss it. If I was like, I was like, maybe it'll be right on time and I can just go and join in. 1 a.m. I was like, oh my Like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was thinking maybe I would join him, but I looked and it was already one, and I was like, Sh shoot. Put you on the TV, intended to watch while making a pie. <laughs> I got so engrossed, I only started making a pie five minutes ago. <laughs> for the super chat good luck with the pie <laughs> welcome back to my machines thank you waking up early to watch your stream over the weekend has been so much fun can't wait for the next one thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for the super chat am i playing on the switch yeah i'm playing the switch version mm -hmm. i am playing the switch version what kind of, yeah what kind of pie are you making thank you for the super chat thank you because I don't have a PS4. <clears throat> oh, PS4. Well, I do have one. Technically. But also, I don't have one, technically. God, what's the four hours I missed? I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I'll come back to member seats. Thank you. Yeah, I'll have a PS5 one day. That'll show him. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, it is currently only on console. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. For Parappa. Yes! 
Or Parappa. Parappa the Rappa. I gotta play it. I have to buy my... I gotta buy a PS5 just so I can play Parappa the Rappa. Started work with your stream, leaving it to go eat dinner, work out, shower, nap, and came back, and I'm still going. It's okay, I'm ending. <laughs> I'm ending now, so. Yeah. <sighs> Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. <laughs> How's spoiling? Did you continue Persona 5 on your own? Yeah, I finished it. I finished it like a two or three days after my last stream. <laughs> that was the only thing I did. Every time, that was the only thing I did for like three days. After my last Persona 5 stream, I played it. Yeah, I played it every day. Every waking moment that I wasn't streaming, I was playing Persona 5 and then I finished it like two days after my last stream. I didn't even realize that it hadn't been that long since my last stream. I thought it'd be like a week or so by then. And then I tweeted like, I finished Persona 5 crying emoji. And everyone was like, girl, it's only been like two days. What? What? And I was like, no way. I thought it'd actually been a week or two. My brain, no sense of time. Play like 30 hours in less than three days. Ah, stop. Ow, don't say that. My 150 hours. <laughs> Stop. Ah, my 150 hours in Persona 5. <laughs> ah. Second or third walkthrough? No, I'm not playing it. I'm not playing it again. Because I know if I start it again, I won't be able to stop. not playing it again because if I play it again that's all I'm gonna do in my free time again and I don't have another 150 hours or less to dedicate <laughs> to playing Persona 5 off stream because I have to do work or else I'm never gonna do work ever and it's gonna be so bad one day when I'm even older than I already am I'll replay it and I'll probably be equally as insane as I am now. Yeah. So like, don't look at my likes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever look at my Twitter likes, but like, don't look at them. <laughs> On it. No! <laughs> oh my god, I just opened it. They're on my For You page. Well, you know what? You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome! Good. They better be. Thousand seven hundred sixty hours in a year. One hundred and fifty is less than two percent. That's plenty of time. Ah. 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 A catchy. What? Okay, look. It's my for you tab. It's feeding me. Let me refresh my for you tab right now. Okay, well, I just refreshed my For You tab and it's showing me... Scar... Scarla? Scarla... What is this photo? Scarla... Is 
Showing me a photo from... What is this photo? Is this her room? <laughs> it's like the blurred photo of boxes. right now it's just fan art of yeah it's just fan art of other Ian libraries convinced I love basketball for some reason. Yeah, Twitter's convinced I love Persona 5 for some reason. I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know what's going on. Twitter is somehow convinced that I love Persona 5 and that I love Akechi or something. Like, um, they could be not further from the truth. <sighs> if Twitter was a real one, they know I hate Akechi. I hate him so bad. <laughs> so much same you and me I hate him I hate him so much and he hates you Joker <laughs> what does your water bottle look like oh it's got a, a playing posse um, oh, Ryuji. I'm not gonna tell you. What if you try to find my water bottle in the wild? This is my pride and happiness. <laughs> What's next to Ryuji? Uh, fling posse, duh. I just said it. Yeah, actually, it is though. Playing Posse sticker is right beside the Ryuji sticker. Where is An? I don't have her on my water bottle, sadly. Let's put it on my PC. What's under Ryuji? That's the bottom of the bottle. There's nothing under, it's just the bottle. Why not a catchy? Who? What? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god. I should have put my catchy sticker like on the bottom. So every time I put my water bottle down, I squish him. <sighs> Why didn't that come to me faster? Why did I have to think about that after he was... <sighs> That should be us? Oh, okay. If I ever make a Wiwa sticker, I'll put it on the bottom of my bottle so every time I put it down, squish the Wiwa. <laughs> I'm gonna make a Wiwa sticker myself just for this. That will be what I do. Second, the catchy sticker down there. Bro. I'm 
not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing a single thing. I am thinking about what I'm gonna have for dinner. <sighs> thinking about what I wanna have for dinner. <laughs> no thoughts at all. Exactly! Oh my god. See? When have I ever thought... What if I ever had a thought ever in my mind ever? Never! Yay! <laughs> when have I ever th had a thought? Literally never. So... Yeah! What? Is Pomo actually streaming at this time? That's very unexpected. Mic testing. Oh, cool. <coughs> when are we gonna continue? 13 Sentinels next week sometime. Let me check my calendar. I think I set it for Thursday next week because I had some stuff. Thursday, Saturday, I think, maybe? Yeah, Thursday, Saturday. when I had it set for next time. wake up in time. I can set it. Okay. You know what? I'll do my best next week. I'll start at 5. I'll start an hour earlier next week. 5.30. If <laughs> <gasps> we can wake up. Okay, well, if we're going based off of I can't, if I can wake up or not, then I'm gonna put it back to six o'clock. <laughs> if it's based off of can I wake up, I'm gonna put it back to six o'clock. Were you always into sci fi? No. I'm, I don't even I don't even think I'm that into sci-fi to be honest. I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself to be into sci-fi at all. I just like good stories. I wouldn't say that I'm like an enjoyer of sci-fi series uh, like as a general. I would just say that I really like things that have good stories. You weren't much into JRPGs either? That's true. Yeah, I didn't even... Yeah. I didn't even play... Any JRPGs until before I debuted, so... I only played, like, Kingdom Hearts. And I played Tales of the Abyss. And those are, like, the only two JRPGs I really ever played before become obsessed with giant robots in time <laughs> maybe it's always macross i love macross frontier macross frontier is like the same thing i guess as 13 sentinels for me though in the sense of like i liked it because of the singing and because of the the drama oh my god macross frontier has so much drama <laughs> the love triangle. Ah! 
So I liked it because it was like keeping me interested. So I don't know. I want to watch the the new Gundam. Not the one. I think the se season two is airing right now, maybe. The red haired girl one. Merch of Mercury? Yeah. I want to watch that one. Season 2 is airing. Yeah. It looks good. I'd be interested in watching it. I also wanted to watch Iron... Iron Blood Orphans. What is it called? Something like that. Then I got spoiled, so... Then I got spoiled <laughs> by that one song. interested in watching Code Geass before because of like the nightmares and stuff but recently I've been more okay like I've been watching it I haven't watched it in a while though but I was watching it until recently so maybe I am getting better with Mecca maybe yeah nightmares that's like what the Mechas are called in Code Geass I think yeah they're called nightmares right do you like the mechs? Uh, uh, they look pretty cool. I think. <laughs> What's your favorite sentinel so far? Um, yeah, I don't know. Because I don't think I've played enough of the of the in-game part, of the strategy part of the game for me to say which one's my favorite sentinel. <laughs> What's your favorite character? good i know i'm trying to think who do i like right now the most miyako i do like miyako Yuki-chan the most currently I like Yuki and I like Sekigahara I don't know why I don't know I, I don't know why but I like him Yeah. I don't know why though. There's just something about him. Something about him is interesting. But Yuki is my favorite so far. Oh my god, my eye hurts so bad. My, my, ah, me, mega. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think. 
my strain? No. It's not like my eyeball that hurts, it's like my eyelid. Maybe I have a pimple. <laughs> Maybe I have a pimple like on the top of my eyelid. It like hurts. <laughs> it like hurts right under my eyebrow. Like right where my eyelid folds or whatever. Ow. <sighs> oh well, it'll go away soon. Sucks when that happens. I know. It sucks. Like a sty? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I have to look into the mirror later and see what's going on. Never had any kind of allergy, luckily. Me either. I don't have allergies. Well, I don't know, actually. Sing Idol by Yoasobe next character stream. I don't know that song that well, to be honest. I only know it a little bit. I'll try and learn it. I've only ever heard it... Mm, like, twice, I think. So I'll try and learn it. Yeah. Have you watched Oshinoko? No. No anime this season. I'm, I'm not watching anything this season. Watch it when I'm done. Or I'll watch it when it's done. I've only heard... Idol... Like, twice, I think. I listened to Hoshikawa san's cover. I th think I listened to the original. I don't know. I watched I watch Hoshikawa san's cover, though. I don't know where the second time I heard it was. First episode is like a movie? I know. That's why it's hard. Because it's so long. <laughs> well, I haven't been watching anything at all. So I'll just wait until the season's over before I watch anything I'm interested in. You can only focus on so many things at once. Also, it's hard for me to watch anime because too busy playing League. <laughs> but reading manga? Not really. I'm really behind on my manga too, L, honestly. <laughs> How was League yesterday? Uh, I think we only got to play like one game because of the server. Are we gonna do Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood? Probably after anniversary is over I've had time to settle things a little bit more on my end on my end yeah yeah just saw a high school musical meme Set up Troy with meetings with a bunch of important people and was Gabriella do swimming and crying. I mean, it's true, but at the same time, like, you can't just, like, buy all these things for somebody and then expect them to like you because of it. It's so bad. Like, Gabriella was swimming because that was her job and she was crying because her boyfriend was neglecting her. Hell no! <laughs> But we'll definitely watch Fullmetal Alchemist soon. After the anniversary is over, I think. She had turkey imported from Maine. 
Turkey imported from the E-A-E-A-N. We're gonna relax and renew. I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited to rewatch it. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, Wewa. Hey. What does this mean? <laughs> um. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it is indeed. Happy Mother's Day. Not that I am a mom, but happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. Oh, I should text Nina. you the mother to all we was I mean I don't know <laughs> don't just send the weewa emoji <laughs> You want to open that can of worms? Nope. Nope. <sighs> Let's not. Let's not open that can of worms at all. God, my eye hurts so bad. I gotta check this out. I just gotta wash my eyeball. Just take it out. Wash it. Put it back in. Right, guys? Is that how it works? No. That would hurt. <laughs> ah! That's what you have to do when you have a prosthetic eye? Oh my god, that sounds so scary! Ah! That sounds so scary to like... socket but that's still scary I used to have a teacher that would pop out his glass eye as a joke oh my goodness you get used to it oh my goodness I'd be so scared imagine Iva right there I'd be so scared I think I'm like scared I think I'm just scared of like touching my eye. <laughs> Even when I get like an eyelash in my eye, I'm just like, because eh, 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 eh. I'm too scared to touch my eye. <laughs> Keep blinking. Yeah, I'm even too scared if I like. I can't even like. I don't. I never want to have glasses. Uh oh. I never want to have glasses because I feel like if I did, <laughs> uh, I never want to have glasses real because I feel like if I did, mm, I wouldn't be able to put contacts on.
wee wise here. I'll stay like this for now. Because my eye hurts. Ugh. Do you like the short hair? Me too, I love short hair. Two years of a wee can't believe it's been two years, actually. I actually can't believe it's been that long. Ugh. My earrings? Yeah! They're little bows. <laughs> two years, I know. Time really does fly so fast. Seems like just like yesterday, you were telling Pomu about Minecraft too. <laughs> Can't believe she believed that. It's been a while. There you go. Then you're the super chat. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. My uncle works at. My uncle works at Hatsune Miku and got me. <laughs> An advanced copy, of course. My uncle John Minecraft, yeah. Who works for Hatsune Miku. And gave me an advanced copy of Minecraft too. Imagine. So silly. <laughs> Can't believe I'm on stream for nine hours. That was my introduction to Pomu. Oh my goodness. Minecraft 2 and her not knowing that it existed. to go to bed? No, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Every time I look over at my OBS, I see the light me up like little picture here and I have the urge to sing it. So I'm going to look away. Close my eyes. It's for Din? No idea. Nope. Don't, don't put up the pen lights. Am I gonna play more later today, Sunday? No, I have I have a little bit of work I have to do. Well, quite a bit of work that I have to do today on Sunday, and then I have a meeting at night, so I wouldn't be able to. I have a meeting. I've also been streaming for like a week straight, so tomorrow will be the day that I work on stuff. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> what do you do Monday? I think that mon we'll probably put out like a schedule for what we plan to do tomorrow for Monday. And then Monday will be... Monday will be our anniversary stream day. Mm. Where we'll do some stuff. Rest of it too? Yes, I will. Got some work that I have to do. And then I will... Go to a meeting. Say hi to my mom. Everyone say hi to your mom. Wish them a happy Mother's Day. <sighs> I treated my mom recently, so that's my Mother's Day gift to her. I splurged quite a bit. <laughs> so that was my gift for her.
My mom got an Apple Watch? Let's go! My mom convinced me to buy an Apple Watch. She's always like, you should get one. Look at it, it's so awesome. And she shows me hers and I'm like, eh, I don't need it, I don't need it. <laughs> She shows me everything about it and she's like, isn't it so awesome? And I'm like, I don't even go out. What do I need an Apple Watch for? Thank you for the super chat. Yes, of course. Very late super chat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I don't go out, so. Is there a Google Watch? I don't know. Probably. Probably... Probably is. So you can play Subway Surfer? No. Pixel Watch. Oh. I still want the Z Flip. I can't stop thinking about it, guys. I'm really thinking about it. Oof. Flip phone in 2023? Yeah, so? I want it. You could buy figures with that money? Ah, stop making sense. Oh, no. Stop, don't make, stop, ah, stop making sense, oof. Ah, ah, my first phone was a flip phone. Remember the slide out keyboard phones? Those things were so fucking awesome. Matches with that money? Ah! Stop. No, not like a Blackberry. The ones that have a slide keyboard. Unless a Blackberry has one. Wasn't a Blackberry like a. look like a little. No, the ones where it was like. where you slide from the side and then there was a keyboard underneath. thought about it. I just called it the slide phone. <laughs> Damn! I didn't know it had a real name! I just called it the slide phone. I can't believe it was called an, a sidekick this whole time. I love mine. Felt so cool typing on it. I know, me too. <gasps> the slide kick? Shit. Why didn't they call it that? That would have been so awesome. The Nokia is legendary. It really was. The memes were not a lie either. You could throw that shit on the ground and nothing would happen. so many things with that thing and it would not break at all my mom had one
bring back the charm lube? I know. I can't believe phones used to always have charm loops installed into them so that you could put on a charm. I can't believe that was a thing that was normal before. Why happened? My phone case that I have right now has a charm loop so I can use them, but like... Why did they get rid of it? <laughs> why? Phone jack. Well, everyone has wireless now, so technology is advancing. Oh no! I have AirPods. Ah! Oh, I have AirPods. Damn. Time to go back. I wish we could sometimes. Turn back time to the good old days. I'm too young to know any of this. Oh my god. that my text made her laugh out loud for real and then she tried to call me a cutie but it auto-corrected to Chris she was like you Chris I was like huh she's like cutie <laughs> joining them the many chrises i'm joining the chris first the the ccu the chris cinematic universe You're in Mario? Yeah. It's a me. Mario. Here we go. Da -dun, da -da 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 -dun. Da -dun. I was not in Mario. <laughs> I am not Chris Pratt. <laughs> I'm just Chris. Apparently. Hungry. I'm tired. I'm gonna send you. Who should I send you to? Was Pomu gonna keep going? I'll send you to Pomu. Oh, she's already done. YouTube is lying to me. Whitelisted? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> she does! Oh my god. She does! Oh my god. Thank god. I'll send you there because I want to watch her stream too. Did she just start? It said 10 minutes ago on my screen, so. My YouTube says started 10 minutes ago. 
so I don't know. 10 minutes ago? Okay, I will send you over there. I will send you to Zia's stream because today... stream because today um, is her last stream I thought it was gonna start a little bit later like or at least in like an hour so I was oh my god so I hope everybody gives her lots of love She is so wonderful and was always so wonderful to me and she is so much fun and I'm very, 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 very grateful to have known her, met her and she made Niji Fest like one of the best memories ever for me. Because she's so, she was so fun and she was so funny and like getting to meet her and talk to her, just hang out with her was literally such a big core memory. I don't know if uh, most if you guys remember or know, but during Niji Fest, there was like a really spontaneous decision on the staff side where they asked for the two of us to just go on stream and just do a free chat for a bit and the two of us talk together for a little bit. It was just like a spontaneous thing that staff was like, we're looking for two livers. Do you want to join in? And we were like, sure, because we were together. I think we were like drinking, like we were just drinking water together or something. I think we were just sitting together, like drinking water or something and we were talking and then staff was like, you guys want to go on the stream together and do like a, like a totally 100% just free chat. And we were like, sure, and we went together. And I was so nervous. I was so nervous, like, sitting there. Because I was like, oh my god, what the hell do I talk about? You know, like, there's so many people watching. But she, like, guided me through the whole thing. And she was so awesome. And she's so funny. And she's so cute. And I had so much fun talking to her. And we talked for so much. The staff was like, stop. Stop. <laughs> and it was honestly, like, one of my favorite moments since becoming an EG Liver for sure was that like spontaneous moment together where we were just talking about literally whatever <laughs> and just getting to hang out with her was so much fun and she's so extremely talented and so amazing and so awesome so i hope you guys give her a big big love on her last stream today and i will send you over there she is definitely a liver who has made so many people's lives change her so much so i hope you guys give her big 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 love so i will send you over there now thank you everybody for coming to today's stream i had so much fun playing 13 sentinels and we will play again sometime next week um yeah we'll play again next week um i will Let you know. Or tomorrow will be the day off. My day off because I got quite a few things that I have to do. So yeah, I will let you know what the plan is whenever we know what the plan is. And I'll release my schedule whenever I know what my schedule is. And I will see you later. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh...